Hello and welcome back. It is Diablo Day today. Let me just share the stream over on the Discord server in the correct channel this time, and then we're going to jump right into the Diablo 4 campaign. And thank you all so very much for being here tonight, and I appreciate the thumbs up on the stream. The idea for this stream is going to be that I do a nice focused run through the entirety of the campaign. This is going to be for not only live viewers, but also people that want to watch it afterwards or those that can't catch the live stream. I'm going to try to keep it focused on that. And then after I'm done with the campaign, everything's good, man. We're going to run all sorts of crazy dungeons. We'll have all sorts of community nights. I'm ready to run some multiplayer groups. Got a couple of my buddies that are playing the game. But yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we're all shared over on the Discord server. I think that link is legit. You know, what? I'm going to tag everyone on the Discord server. I usually don't do that for streams, but tonight's a big night. Hey, Gold, Easy Peach, Kevin, Steven, Storm, Elf, Ellie, Midori, hello. Okay, here we go. Where's my tart? What's up? So I've decided to do a rogue playthrough. It took me a really long time to come to that conclusion, but the rogue is a really active class. I got myself a brand new mouse with a bunch of buttons on it. So I want to try it out. I want to stay active. I was going to do Necromancer, but then I just, it just, I think it's a little bit too slow for me. And the rogue is just pretty badass. I am an OG World of Warcraft rogue player, and this is a Blizzard game, so we might as well keep that going. Um, I've already done the character customization, as you guys can see. How are we looking right now? You guys think this looks pretty good? Instead of making you guys watch me do it for like two hours. <laughs> Let me just check my eye color real fast. Let's see what we got. I like the purple eyes. That's pretty cool, but it's not the type of purple that I was hoping for. I think we might go with crystal eyes. That's pretty badass, man, with the dark hair. Let's go with crystal eyes. Yeah, I think I'm liking it. You guys all set with that? Okay, here we go. Hey, Odessa, what's up? Happy Friday. Thursday. Today's Thursday. I always think it comes out on Friday because they say June 2nd, but... All right, I'll call my character. I don't think anybody can take your name in this game, can they? I'm just going to be plain old Wolfheart. I think Blizzard does the name and then followed by the the numbers or something like that. Okay. Um, I think I could probably go with less guidance right now because we played the beta so much. And I'm going to do World Tier 2 for the sake of engagement, because World Tier 2 was almost too easy when we were playing it in the beta. Um, so that might provide a little bit more engagement, which will equate to more fun. So here we go. Damn, I'm excited. Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. If I have to turn up the volume, it I'll do it forged in a as minute. A refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was. And centuries ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. Let's go. This is the story of their downfall. I'm all for it, man. You're Harry when we looked at the druid. I wish the druid class wasn't like the big, bulky, chubby, strong dude. I, I would have considered playing it, but I'm not a fan of that body type for my characters. Hey, Captain. David, what's up?
Can't wait to see how the story plays out. I'm playing as the rogue, at least for now. I'll probably stick with it. Hey, Chris. Thanks, Midori. Oh, shit. It's the Black Wolf. Here we go. I can't wait to figure out my mouse and have these buttons on the side that I've never really used before in video games. Find better shelter before I freeze. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the campaign. Dusk on the mountain. Find shelter in a nearby town. I must search for shelter before I freeze in this blizzard. Okay, we're feeling pretty good so far. I kind of forgot how to play, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go. It's really neat to know that everything that I do right now is actually going to matter. All the gold I pick up actually matters this time. I'm wondering if I should remap the space bar. It's on a five second cooldown. I wonder if I should put that on like R or something like that, or even on my mouse. How's the volume so far, y'all? I gotta turn it up a little bit? I'll take a look. I have to turn it up a little bit? I don't know. Okay, so right now we are using our weapon attack. Melee attack an enemy dealing four damage. Physical damage requires dual wield weapons. Oh, it feels good. Blocked. Should clear out when the storm has passed. Game sound is fine. Okay, I'll leave it on this for a little while. Once we get into a dungeon, I'll, I'll double check it again. Ah, uh, the sound of picking up gold is just so satisfying. I'm not ready yet. So I watched a lot of videos on this game. And the rogue is supposed to be one of the best classes until you get to endgame. And then its survivability is pretty rough in nightmare dungeons. And I guess the class has a really high skill gap. But I like that. Because that's going to force me to get good at this game. And as someone who hasn't played a shit ton of ARPGs and when I did play it was on controller I think this will be a good learning lesson for me to get better at games in general so I'm excited for that the rogue is a little bit on the squishier side doesn't have defense like any of the other classes it has the worst defense another abandoned town demons everywhere Fangs in the dark ah, he bit me careful He's a wild one. What's going on here? What's it to you? Oswen, hush! I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins? What is he talking about? You guys trust the townsfolk? I'll explain. I feel like I shouldn't trust them. I wonder why. There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. Even a holy man was driven mad. Gotta protect yourself out there. 
Oh, you poor thing. Traveling in this awful weather. If Devmir's taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. Fire's looking good. But I should watch it a little longer. To make sure it doesn't go out. Finally, some shelter from the storm. I'm sorry, it's a bit cramped. It's still better than a cave. What can you tell me about the people here? Alenta went a bit deaf last winter. You might need to speak up around her. What is this place? Uh, nothing special about our little town, but it's home. And what about the monk? We'll do what we can for him. Might have to keep him in the shed for now, though. He tried to bite off Osman's fingers. It certainly isn't safe here, madame. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. They're probably good people. Whatever's in those ruins before it gets the chance to kill. Let's me. get him. Truly? Oh, thank you. Dungeon number one. Shit, I leveled up. I can't make those choices right now, man. I can't make those choices. All right, so. I think I'm going to go for a Twisting Blades build, which I didn't do. You know, the funny thing is I'm playing as a rogue, and the rogue was my least favorite out of all the classes I played in the beta. But I think I just played it wrong. Also was kind of feeling noobish to Diablo. It's been like 10 years since I played Diablo 3 at that time, and I feel a little better after playing the beta. So we're going to go with Puncture. Throw blades a short distance, dealing 6 damage. Every third cast slows enemies by 20% for 2 seconds. Critical strikes will always slow. All right, enter Ice Howl Ruins. I've agreed to search the ruins north of Nevesk and slay whatever evil hides there. All right, so this attack has... So it's ranged, but you can do it in people's face. It doesn't really make a difference. And I know when we upgrade it, we can have three daggers throw out at once. And if you do it in the face of an enemy, that enemy might catch all three daggers, which is pretty powerful. Kind of like the bone skills that the Necromancer has. I think I'm going to run with that for now. Also gives me a little bit of ranged DPS without actually doing a ranged build, so to say. Like using crossbows and bows. And that feels damn good. Let me check one thing in my... Th I think I wanted to... Oh, am I almost dead right now? That would have been horrible if I died. I wanted to see if I could switch... Hold on. Movement, hold position. Label. Um... You know what? I'll figure out my preferences off stream. We'll just push on with the campaign. Yeah. After I finish my session tonight, I will, uh, I'll hammer all that stuff out, because I could probably sit here for 20 minutes and do it. Am I going to be covering and making new content? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll definitely be streaming more than a few times, if you consider streaming content. <laughs> I have a hard time considering streaming content. The amount of effort that it requires versus doing videos is, uh, is laughable, but... Um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing videos or not yet. There is just a field of expert YouTubers out there that have thousands and thousands and thousands of hours experience with these games. I'm not really sure what I could offer, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Uh, if I play enough and I stay ahead of the curve, I might learn some cool things. It's also fun though, playing a game and not doing videos on the game because my mindset is completely different when I'm playing. So that is still to be determined for now. Okay, let's go into the ruin. You know, what's funny is I keep feeling like I have to keep my fingers on WASD. But you totally don't have to do that in this game. What's up, Snorrison? 
Lilith is neither good nor evil. I believe you would say the same about Anarius, right? Anarius is supposed to be good, but... I wish this was my first time experiencing this content. Alright, so we got a, another skill point, and I'm going to put it into a passive here. Enhanced Puncher. Puncture, excuse me. Gain two energy when Puncture damages a crowd-controlled enemy. Okay. So basically, when I slow enemies, if I hit them, I'll also be gaining two energy, which will be nice. And we have my energy bar right here, 100 out of 100. Distrust Denarius. Me too. I think this is going to be a fantastic story this time around. I love the relationship between Anarius and Lilith. And in their lore, they used to uh, they used to love each other, which makes it even more interesting. I need more time. I'm enjoying these moments when I only have one or two skills, so I can really practice and take this slow so I can become an actual good Diablo player. I need more time. Gotta take it slow and understand everything. Alright, I think we actually go that way, so let me search down here first. I'm actually kind of excited for PvP. I know not a lot of Diablo players say that, but... And I'm excited to be a rogue for it, so I can maneuver around the battlefield super quick. guys with the shields nice all right let's take a look here plus 21 oh shit you stupid skeleton archer let me check my gear for cripe's sake strider leggings oh yeah whoa they match my eyes that would have been bad if i died right there Nice, I think I'm gonna get my, uh, oops, my secondary skill now, perhaps. And we got a blue piece of gear. Nothing, anything that's not orange, I don't really care about. Plus six strength, okay. Increase resource generation and increase armor by 10. What's up, T-Dub? Nice, glad to hear it. 18 minutes, you're still getting error code? Oh, crap. Yeah, I tried logging in at like 6.50. Um, and it worked, so I think I got in before the majority of people got in. I'm not running into any problems, thankfully. Okay, so we do have access to our next skill here. And I am going to do Twisting Blades. I'm thinking that I'll take Twisting Blades first. And then we'll go into one of these two right here. Every third cast of Puncture will also ricochet up the two times. Or Puncture now throws three blades in a spread, each dealing 35% of its base damage. 
hitting an enemy with at least two blades at once makes them vulnerable. And from what I understand, vulnerable... Yeah, vulnerable enemies take 20% increased damage. So it's a fantastic condition to put on your enemies. All right, but I'm going to pick up Twisting Blades and pass on Barrage, Rapid Fire, and Penetrating Shot. Okay, energy cost 30. Impale an enemy with your blades, dealing 15 damage and making them take 8% increased damage from you while impaled. After 1.5 seconds, the blades return to you. Piercing enemies for 24 damage. Return to you is the key words right there. So I didn't realize that when I was playing Rogue on my first run. So yeah. We're going to give that a try. And I think the idea behind it is I can use Twisting Blades, move somewhere else on the battlefield. I don't have a ton of maneuverability at this moment in time, but later on I will when I have like the dash skill or shadow step. And those blades will follow through a mob of enemies. I'm kind of excited to try that. All right, did I get everything over here? I don't think I did. DD, hello. Yeah, look at that. That is so sick. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> that is so cool. It is a melee attack, though. Look at those blades, man. I don't know how I missed that on my first rogue run. Such a good skill. Hope the sorcerer class will be viable in PvP. When is a sorcerer class not viable in PvP in any game? You know what I mean? Oh, that is so cool. That makes me so excited. They'll probably nerf it at some point, though. So we got to start working on our movement with this class and really taking advantage of those skills. Server for PS5 is a mess right now. Ooh, sorry to hear that. That really does suck. If you're excited for a game and you can't play it. Okay, we got dual daggers right now. I think you can use swords as the rogue, can't you? God, this game is so dark. I love it. I love dark fantasy. Oh, that is so sick. Is there a button? No, there isn't a button in this game to highlight loot, is there? From what I remember, I think it was all the loot just shows up automatically. Okay, now let's go up to the northwest wing. You know, I'm happy I chose Rogue, too. I just like the look of the Rogue. I like that body type. I like Rogue's armor. I wasn't 100% sold on the Rogue. But in terms of the way the class looks, I think it'll be my favorite to grind for new gear, looks-wise. And in a looter game like this, I think I do care about what my character looks like. Outside of viable cosmetics. I could give two shits about those. Pay $28, you get a full skin. And feel proud of yourself for wasting your GD money. Oh, there's a shaman around here. Need more time. Those are gonna be very nimble about the battlefield. Blow stuff up, I think it will do fine in PvP. Sorcerer has some great defense behind it, and that's why I think it's probably, like, for the majority of people, it's probably going to be a better class. Um, unless you have, like, a really high, highly skilled rogue player. The Sorcerer has... Has a bunch of defensive options, like that ice shield, I remember using that, and that shit was clutch, man. Now, the rogue does have, like, these little shadow things that you can have, like, circling your character, which offer defense, but I don't think it's anywhere near the potency of the sorcerer's defense options. Does that make sense? Can I use potency in that? I don't think I've ever used it like that before. I need more time. I need more time. Yeah. 
Yeah, like even in these earlier parts, I gotta get really good at, at dodging out of the way of those. Hold on, what's up with my mouse sensitivity? There we go. Dodging out of the way of those AoE attacks, because that is like your defense as a rogue in this game, from what I understand. It is your focus on dodging out of the way of things because you have a highly agile class. As opposed to just activating the shield, you actually have to dodge out of the way yourself, but you have more dodge options than other classes. It's just, it requires a lot more engagement and focus on the player from another class that can just hit a shield button and then absorb damage. I think that'll make the rogue quite fun. Yeah. But I might die a lot. I'm not ready. Damn, dude, Twisting Blades is so good. It is so, so good. Good old gray armor. What's up, Jessica? There actually is a vanish ability with the rogue. There is, yeah. I forgot about that. Wonder if you still take AoE damage. I'm going melee at the moment. I don't like that each class has specific physique. Yeah, I feel you, Braz. That's par partially one of the reasons why I decided not to play the Druid. If there was like a medium build for a Druid, I would have probably played. It would have been hard for me to turn down the werewolf form and the wolves that you can summon into the game. Not that it's a big deal, but sometimes it kind of is. You want your character to look good in RPGs, you know what I mean? See my mouse DPI now it's like way too fast. Whoa, that freaking DPI is like shit. It's so fast right now. I'm low on energy. All right, I got it down one. I got it down one. Let's go, baby. I need more time. I need more energy. Got it. Feeling good. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to take the throw three puncture blades. In a spread, each dealing 35% of its base damage, hitting an enemy with at least two blades at once makes them vulnerable. I think that is what we want right there. So let's give that a try. Yeah. It's so cool because, like, yeah, it's, it, it seems like a ranged ability, but if you have an enemy in your face, you hit them with all three blades. Which is probably quite powerful damage-wise for a base attack. Where's my TARDIS? Just wait till the PvP. My big thickness gonna reign supreme. Nice. Alright, um, I guess we're done here. My stocky brown druid look good. Yeah, the druids are like linebackers. That's what they remind me of. You know, I probably don't have to spend every second searching 
every little crevice in these earlier parts because everything that I pick up is pretty much trash. Yeah. I mean, I do get some gold, but... Looking pretty fly, dude. You've returned. The old ruins are clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly. Ha! Huh. By the light, you are heaven sent. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. School. <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. Yes, sir. Do Bring I us to the tavern. <laughs> Tarps, thank you for the $4 super chat. Four for four. What's the coolest class for D4? Rogue. Josh, thanks for your 19 months of channel membership. That is incredible. Officially at the police academy now. Wish me luck. Only 25 more weeks left. Good luck, Josh. Glad you made it there. You're going to kick some ass. What happened? What a freaky, freaky world to live in. Dark times, my friend. I saw my corpse, and from my mouth crawled hatred. I saw the weak made strong, a pack of lambs feasting on wolves. Tears of blood rained on a desert jewel. Da, da, da. Then came a spear of light, piercing hatred's heart, and he who was bound in chains was set free. Rathma's prophecy. You dead? Watch me. so hard to choose, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's freaking great, dude. Oh. 
snow. <sighs> that was all of them. Light wheeling. You're the madman from the shed? Madman? Those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins. Just like you. I came to my wits and escaped. Tried to get inside the chapel, but it was locked and... <coughs> what manner of evil is this? Petals? Of blood? Uh, they... They must have fed them to me. A blasphemous ritual. How did they learn this? Perhaps the answer lies in the chapel. They kept it locked up for a reason. The key might be on that woman who was leading them. Bound to the desolate highlands, a small, well-worn key, smeared with its owner's blood. Unlock the chapel door. How we doing volume wise? We sounding good? Or you guys think I should up it a little bit? I want to make sure you guys can take in the ambience and everything. Blood petals, like the ones I was fed. Is this real? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We should start a clan for sure. I'll have to look into that after the stream. granted you a path to salvation. <laughs> and yet, you stray from it at every opportunity. You drink and gamble. You covet and steal. Shameful. What's that? into this world. Oh, no. No. Oh, 
I'll beat that priest up with my cane. They have awakened, Mother. The first of many. Go to the dry steps and continue your preparations. Now, our true work begins. The more horns, the better. You came to thank the light. What were you doing in the Vesk? Looking for the town priest. He stopped sending tithes, and I came to find out why. As I neared the village, I sensed the darkness around the ruins. I went to investigate, found the priest's body. Demons. Foolishly, I took shelter in the Vesk and ate their food. You know the rest. Yeah, that wasn't too smart, Father. And how did I get out here? You collapsed inside. I thought the darkness had swallowed you. I dragged you here and put this cursed place to the torch. What happened to you in there? I saw a vision. A horny demon. A horned demon. A horned. She said the lords of hell are coming. She wanted to help the people survive. Help them? She called them her children. And they welcomed her like a mother. Mother? No. It cannot be. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a hermit to the northeast. A man of questionable loyalty. But he knows of the forbidden. He might be useful to us. Bring him to the cathedral in Kiovashad. And you will be in the light's favor. May the light guide you. Oh, is that the wrong game? Celasta? Okay. Um, hold on one second. Let me just check. Do they have a dialogue? They do. Let me bump the dialogue up to 100. Greetings. Yeah. Everything else is probably fine. Ambient actually might not be bad at 100 too. And then leave the master and the music down. And the effects too, probably. Put those on 50. Okay, let's continue our journey of the full campaign run of Diablo 4. And thank you all for being here tonight. Appreciate the thumbs up on the stream. Kit, what's up, man? Is it too late to suggest quality of life improvements for BG3? No. Uh, give me your feedback on the Discord server where I can compile everything together. And I might do another video. Who is the mother? Do not call her that. It is a demon, Lilith. The gospel says that she will walk among the people, posing as the mother of sanctuary, if she is here. Uh, it is humankind's own sin that has brought her. Who is this hermit that you speak of? He surrounds himself with dark knowledge. Tread carefully, and pray he has not fallen to Lilith as well. Okay, off we go. Stay in the light. Oh yeah, stay in the light, it's the last one. Yeah. I need more time. To the Hermit's Grove we go. The ambience is everything in Diablo. Isn't it funny how, like, this dark atmosphere is actually really relaxing and enjoyable? Altars of Lilith are hidden all over Sanctuary. They grant permanent stat boosts to all character in this realm. All characters in this realm. Okay, we gotta make sure we collect all of those. And actually... Oh, it doesn't show me yet. I think once I get to Kiova Shot, it's gonna show me my objectives. I mean, we do have our challenges here, though. That was the early access challenges. Wouldn't that be funny if I was on, like, the early access version of the game and I finished, uh, the first act and I couldn't go any further? <laughs> Dexterity has been increased by two for all characters in this realm. Need 
more time. Look at that vulnerable condition. Diablo 4 gallery? Maybe, I don't know. I'll think about it. Need more time. The Ironborn? Yeah, I'm gonna get the dash ability when I actually have access to it. That won't be for a little while. Those daggers gotta start working them, man. Start working them now before the game becomes uh, overwhelming in the nightmare dungeons. Get all those fundamentals down now. Bacchus Beast with a massive Canadian $69.99 donation. That is absolutely insane, Bacchus. But I appreciate you very much. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with your knee, Wolf. Thank you. Surgery is currently scheduled for June 27th. I got just under a month. Just trying to heal it back up to a workable level right now so I can enjoy my sister's wedding. And uh, hopefully by the time BG3 comes back out, I will have a normal knee again. Ooh. Thanks, Bacchus. Didn't have to do it. Six strength, seven intelligence, one percent attack speed. Beautiful. Thanks a lot. I'm not ready. I wonder if I do two of these, if it creates multiple blades, or is it only one set of blades that comes back to me? I'm gonna have to test that out. meniscus I need more time I'm not ready yet find the hermit's cabin Tarks, thank you for the two dollar super chat. Need more time. I missed it. What happened to your knee? Tore my meniscus last year, and it was uh, been giving me major problems ever since, especially this year, to the point of where I can't even walk at some time. At some points in time. So I'm getting it repaired. All right, we got another point, so we maxed out Puncture. Twisting Blades. Twisting Blades deals 30% increased damage when returning. Is Act 1 different from the beta? Probably not. A few minor changes, but the overall game, no. I don't think so. Right, we're just gonna go up this way. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting a little OCD about like searching everything, but at this level, not really that important. I was gonna go back and, and retrace my steps. But we don't need to do that. Herbs and ore can be found throughout the world and are used by artisans for a variety of functions. I refuse to kill the innocent animals because I'm a good rogue.
I'm not but we are going to need actually some of these bite berries and everything. So actually, I take it back. Maybe it is a good idea to make sure you search everything. Because all these crafting resources will come in handy. And there's some RNG behind it. So you never know when you're going to find something that's rare. So, you know, I take it back. Definitely going to try to use a bow. Even though I'm not really using any range skills, but I definitely prefer a bow over a crossbow. So hopefully I can find a sick bow. That was actually another one of the reasons why I chose Rogue. Because thinking about getting like a really high-end bow and how sick that would look, that's pretty sweet. Like a decked out legendary bow, you just can't beat it. Like it's going to look cooler than a sword. It's going to look cooler than an axe. It's going to look cooler than a... Than a staff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I'm gonna grind for the best bow in the game. And I might not even use it. Just so I can see it one time. Cow level. Hope I can run into the butcher at some point. I didn't see the butcher in the beta. A healer's tools. They look freshly used. Herbs, mushrooms, organs. Not for cooking. What are you hiding back here? Short fangs. Young. Freshly turned. An easy kill. Severus, Further is that you? South than the others. They're spreading. Severus Snape? Coated in dried blood, it's intended to catch a beast or human? Question mark. Butcher's the only time he died in the beta. Looks like a druid, doesn't he? If you're going to trespass into my home, rifle through my fingers, then at least have the decency to join me for supper. I'm bloody hungry. Nice. I like that guy. Thanks again, Bacchus. Appreciate that, man. Massive. That's quite the story. I wish it wasn't true. But it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. The blood of a demon. Not just any demon. The daughter of hatred. The mother of sanctuary. She was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. <sighs> it was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. The blood war. But Lilith serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out what she's after. Good. Then we're in this together. Rest while you can. Then we'll start in Kiovashad. If we can't stop Lilith, we'll all be damned. Might pick up some coconut oil on my way to Lilith, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does sound like Severus Snape. Okay, very cool. You know, even though I've done this story a few times, I am greatly enjoying it right now.
Wish I could control Lorath though, like a CRPG. Company Lorath the Kiova shot. The Hermit, a man named Lorath Nar, claims the demon I saw in the chapel was none other than Lilith, the creator of Sanctuary. He has agreed to meet with the Cathedral of Light as requested, and so we head for Kiova shot. Our Rogue Trader beta was pretty good. It was in better a better state than I thought it would be at the start of the beta. This close to the city. Well, let's see. Oh my gosh, it does. Did you guys see that? So I did two twin blades. And four blades came back. That is insane. You just have to really be good at positioning no yourself and moving around the battlefield, which is awesome. Watch this. Watch all these blades. Oh god, that's so good. What is Lorath even doing? I got this under control. I thought I'd love to see you all there. Yes. I don't know why I like to have my skin so pale in this game. I always do that in Diablo. It's just kind of like freaky, a badass at the same time. I need more time. Gotta get my crafting materials, bruh. Is Lorath not gonna come with me on this little side track over here? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, th this puncture attack is not that powerful from a distance, but when you're in somebody's face, it takes them down really fast. And that's my basic attack. But we're gonna go do this. I don't know if it's a world event or what. I need more time. Akuyel, hello. Thanks for stopping in, man. I'm probably gonna label all of the streams and go through the entirety of the campaign without trying to get too sidetracked. That's the goal with this playthrough, so uh, it can serve that purpose for those of you guys that want to watch a full playthrough. Help, Shit, I don't know if I'm ready for an event like this yet, but let's go for it. good out of energy I need more energy Damn, I almost didn't complete that. I'm focusing so much on trying to get my daggers to move through the enemies. I barely survived that, but hey, I'll take it. And we got some obols by completing events, and you can spend them at the curiosity vendor. It's perfect. Caravan under siege, complete. Nice, got a new hood. Got some new pants. Boots and pants and boots and pants. 
Some new boots? Oh yeah. Give me some Uggs. All about that Ugg life. Okay, so we have two choices here. Improved Twisting Blades. Enemies are dazed while impaled with Twisting Blades. When your Twisting Blades return, your active cooldowns are reduced by 0.25 second per enemy they pass through, up to 3 seconds. So I'm going to go with that one. Kind of building upon that idea of basing everything off of that particular attack. Invalid license? Damn, man. I'm sorry that some of you guys are having problems. That sucks. I'm playing on PC, Scott. How you doing? I'm not ready. All right, let's go continue on with Laura's quest here, but I think that was pretty good to do right there. I don't even have a console anymore. I mean, I have a PS5, but it's broken, so I'll pretty much only be on PC for the foreseeable future. PS5 HDMI outlet got destroyed. It's like 150, 200 bucks to send it in and get it back, and it's like... A at that point, you buy a new console. Need more time. You know, I like this game for a campaign run. This is a good game to stream. Uh, not only because of the multiplayer potential later on when we do that, but... It's nice because, like, I can shut the hell up during, like, the story parts, but when we're just running around killing shit, it's kind of chill. All right, Lorath, where the hell is your fat ass at? Get your ass over here. Come here. What is this statue? The Angel in Arius. I'm sure you've heard the Cathedral of Light babbling about their Holy Father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud, unless we can stop it. Lilith versus Inarius. That's not linger. Kiobashad lies just ahead. It's going to be a hell of a battle. PS5 Pro. I, I don't think Diablo would be on GOG. I mean, I don't, I didn't check, but I'm, I'd be like 80% sure that it's not on GOG. PC Master oh, Race, true. To enter the city, you must we first... have no time for this. What's this about? <sighs> to enter Kiyobashad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. It's a meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. How dare you! <laughs> Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine, but this one stays. I'll meet you inside. A cleansing ritual. Take a piece of holy cedar. Shut up, the shrine, guard. I don't give a shit. Sin which troubles you. All right, what sin then troubles me? Cast it into the brazier. Uh, nothing. As so we're gonna scribble into the wood. Burns. Nothing. <sighs> This is a waste of time. Damn straight. Did you say something? What if that'll bite me in the ass later? E4 is out now. Yes, it is done. Good. You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Welcome to Kyovasha. I am going to be exhausting all dialogue options in this particular playthrough, so you guys know. You know Laura? Well, a man that old has lived through some dark days. Explains why he's so cross. We have returned to the beloved city of Kiovashad. Activate the waypoint in Kyovasha. Hmm. 
Transylvania. Pretty good so, toy. What did you write on a little piece of wood? I bet you didn't write anything at all. Wouldn't blame you. Well, it matters little, I suppose. Okay, now we have the renown system on our map, which is what I was hoping to get. So we want to find seven waypoints, three altars of Lilith, 35 side quests. I don't know what that is. Dungeons 23. Oh, wait, is there 28 altars of Lilith? Holy crap. There might be 28. A horse. Are you going somewhere? I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know what part he plays in all this. But first, I need you to retrieve something of mine while I finish my negotiations. A merchant in the center of the city has it. Just tell him I sent you. Tattoos. Sway back. Cloudy eyes. Let's put things back. I like how his voice fades away as I walk away. Lorath sent me. Ah, so the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? <laughs> if he wants his weapon, you will need to pay. You gotta be shit me. 20 gold? Wait, the old man sold me this too. He said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge. Bound to Kiovashan, an old amulet of unique design. It shows wear from years of use, perhaps as a badge of office. Interesting, Laura. Interesting. Nice. I think I like the crafting systems in this game. I'm kind of excited to farm for rare materials or at least keep an eye out for them. Yeah. yeah, the music is amazing. What's up, Sir Polygon? What were the villagers doing in those ruins? Sacrificing, summoning demons, honing all the wonderful gifts that Lilith gave them. Tell me more of Anarius. The cathedral loves to go on about him. His imprisonment in hell, his valiant escape, his glorious return here, the world he created. But they never mention how being tortured in hell for a few millennia turned you into an ass. Being tortured in hell for a millennia makes you an ass. Lilith's return was prophesized? There was a prophecy, yes. It foretold the rise of the prime evils. The return of Lilith and Inarius. The doom of our world. Inarius adopted the prophecy for his own selfish purposes. Put it in the Cathedral of Light's gospel. And made it seem like he would be the hero to save us. Okay. I had to pay for your weapon, Laura. Ah, apologies. He doesn't give he me also gold. Gave me this amulet. What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. An ancient order of scholars and mages, sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days we are few in number. There is another Haradrim. Donan. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Hmm. You should seek him out in Skosglan. But don't forget about the cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me. I'm going to the dry steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just be careful. Your ties to Lilith 
The visions you see. You are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Hmm, why do I gotta be the key? Sometimes our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together. By what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the daughter of hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that. We can actually do this quest now. Level 15 quest, so I should wait a little bit. I think we get him out at level 35. If I remember correctly. One point two percent energy cost reduction. Now we have other people running around the world. Okay, let me stop at the potions vendor real fast. I can't remember if I'm able to do that right now, but... Level 10 is our first upgrade, and it requires Gallovine, of which I have. We just don't currently have level 10. Um, should I make a... There's that one potion that gives you the XP boost. I wonder if they're still doing that. There it is right there. Need two more Galavime. And I don't have enough. Uh... So you need Galavine and Bite Berry. So I don't have enough of those right now to make that. So we'll come back. I want my 5% experience increase, man. You seem concerned. Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return from delivering our tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. Okay. Not sure if I'll do all the side quests. I'll focus more in on the main story for now. I need more time. But I'll definitely pick a few up. I tell you, my neighbor is bewitched. I saw him skulking outside my door, muttering curses. Right. For a hundred generations, hell itself imprisoned Father Inarius. But they could not break him. He cast off his infernal shackles and returned to us. Nice lore. And now he will guide the faithful. Tell me of Kyovishad. Damn cold, isn't it? But at least we are safe. Beyond these walls, darkness reigns. How fair is the city guard? The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise. But I can't let them see me as soft. Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits, and I get to go on being the hard ass. Everybody wins. Leave it to me. Little emote training. Well done. Impressive. I encourage the recruits.
tanks. I hope they don't get used to it. Now give me my XP. 20 Fractured Peaks, Renown, Gold, and 600 XP. Not bad. And I got an Herb Cache. And I actually might... Oh, there's one Bite Berry. I actually might be able to go make that 5% potion. Let's go check that out real fast. In the beta, I forgot to pop that potion. Every time I bought or made one, I just always forgot to use it. I'm going to try to not do that this time. Oh, shit. Where am I even going right now? Find somewhere else to get warm. I was here first. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Weak Iron Barb Elixir. Increase armor by 50, thorns by 25, and experience by 5% for 30 minutes. Beautiful stuff. Let me go to the Purveyor of Curiosities real fast and see if I can pick up a Whispering Key. They wear those girls of yours. Finally ran off to play nice, have they? They left before Valarvin. Whispering Key has 20 obols, and I have... Wait, can I buy one? Yes, I can. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys didn't play the beta, as soon as you can buy one of these Whispering Keys, you get the obols from World Events. Uh, make sure to pick one up, because you're going to come across silent chests at certain points in the game. And you need a Whispering Key in order to open those chests. Okay, let's um let's get out of here. I'm not sure if Lorath is a character from previous games or not. Good question. Be wary on the road. An atmosphere I didn't expect from Diablo. I'm leveling fast, you think? I don't think I really am. There's probably people that are like double my level right now just because I'm taking in all the dialogue and listening to all the cutscenes and everything. All right, so now we have our Act 1 main quest. Travel to the Cathedral of Light. I must seek out the Cathedral of Light and warn them of Lilith. Lorath suggested they may make useful allies in our fight against the Daughter of Hatred. Maybe I want to fight against Denarius. Hello, Amis. Ellen Princess, good evening. Happy Thursday. We were born in sin. Children of darkness. But the Father's light can be sought through penitence and faith. Walk in the light. We were in a cathedral of Lilith, and now we're in a cathedral of Anarius. Well, actually, I think they're both technically the good faith. Lilith just happened to infiltrate that other one. We must be ever vigilant against sin, brother. Yes, Reverend Mother. Let the light of Anarius burn away wickedness. Let not temptation lead you from his holy radiance. Let righteousness sear away corruption and sin. Cast out thy darkness, for only light must remain. Cast out thine darkness, for only light must remain. Is this the one from Nevest? Yes, Reverend Mother. Did Lorath not accompany you? He sent me on without him. Putting faith in that old man was a mistake. What could possibly be of greater import? Lilith. So, you know. Hmm. We have received word from one of our knights of a demon sighting in Gale Valley. The description matches too closely to the sighting in Neves. If you would travel to Yelesna and take stock of the events there, you would have the gratitude of the Cathedral of Light. I had thought to send Lorath, but... Again, he fails in his duty. With or without Lorath, the will of Inarius shall be done. Also, just so you guys know, you can actually run to the other zones. Yeah. Take the knight's report before you go. Because the game has, in general, it has level scaling for like 80% of the things that you do. 
But I think to follow the main story, you gotta come here at some point, so we might as well just stay here and do the main quest. Reverend Mother, I received a report of a potential demon sighting. Horned woman near Yelesna Mines. Performed routine inspection, nothing yet. Sent in priest and escort of knights. We'll report in when we find something. You know Laura. His skill is unmatched. But as you can see, he's not so reliable. It's not out of indifference. He went off searching for a pale man who accompanied Lilith. So someone is helping her. <sighs> How easily the souls of men sink to darkness. True. What do you know of Lilith? She is spawn of a prime evil. Mark my words. Nevesk was but the beginning. She will kill again. But our father, the angel Inarius, is prophesied to defeat her. Mm -hmm. Where there is faith, there need not be fear. Something tells me it won't work out just like that. What happened in Yulesna? One of our flock, the watch commander, Vigo, sent word of a demon sighting. A girl claimed to see a horned woman. The risk is too great to dismiss. Seek him out. He should be well into his search. Onwards we go. To you, let's know. You guys are still having problems logging in? Ralph Innocen is Lorat. Also the voice actor in The Witcher 3. Wait. Who is the voice actor for... Our boy Jerry in The Witcher. What is his name? Use T to return to the nearest capital. Or select any unlocked waypoint from the map tab. Yeah. Priest Matface says I'm ready. I shall leave Margrave at dawn. The journey will be long, but my faith is endless. Light grant me safe passage to the monastery, that I may better know your grace within its hallowed halls. Nixion, holy donation with a $40 super chat. Wolfpack roleplay. Gonna have to play Druid myself. Nice, man. Druid was so close to playing Druid. I just don't really like the look of the character. Love the class, though, even though it's some people's most hated class. Even though I think endgame, it becomes quite strong. So you enjoy that, man. I will live vicariously through you. We're going to go right to Yelesna. Probably not that way. Can I get across? Yes, I can. Well, thanks for the 40, man. I appreciate it. You know what I have to do? It's really screwing me up. I have to set my movement to something other than left mouse click or have it on mouse left mouse click, but also allow me to move another way, like maybe the mouse wheel, like clicking on the wheel, because sometimes you want to move but you what click on an enemy and instead your character, holy crap, your, your character ends up attacking. God, this is such a cool build. I'm not ready yet. Damn rates. Challenge unlocked. Hey bros, yeah, everyone's cool tonight. There's only a couple people I don't like in this chat right now. Diablo. El Diablo. All right, Yelesna is actually to the south a little bit. We'll go this way. I think I'm just going to focus in on that main quest for the time being, unless it seems like it's... I need to catch up or something. I'm out of energy. I need more time. I mean, everything's level scaling, so... Maybe I could just focus on really nothing but the main quest, just for the sake of this particular stream series, and then after that, go back and do whatever I want. Yeah. 
Looks like we have a world event. Uh-oh, these can actually be quite challenging by yourself. What the hell is this? I need more time. I'm having a hard time moving through the mobs without the dash ability at this moment in time. Don't have enough energy. And if I could like mouse click to get away from the enemies, I think that would greatly benefit the rogue. Oh, dude, that is so sick right there. I love that color of green. Almost like a sage. Well, oh, I leveled up too. Let me help out these guys real fast. Okay, so now I have Twisting Blades and Puncture both fully leveled up. And oh my gosh, we have made it to the agility skills. Shadow step, become unstoppable and quickly move through the shadows to stab your victim from behind for 45 damage. Or dash, dash forward and slash enemies for 23 damage. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And give that a try with twin blades. Some 10 second cooldown, I think, is what it's on. I need more time. Wonder if I should now. We'll just hold off on that. What is this dungeon reward? Mangled aspect. So that's for the druid class. So we don't even need that right now. That guy is kind of annoying. Okay, we're gonna try out the dash. Oh my god. Uh, bear with me, everyone. I just got a new mouse not too long ago, and I'm not used to really using side buttons. It'll take me uh, several sessions to get the muscle memory for this stuff. But I'm excited to learn. This is pretty sick. Dude, are you kidding me? I knew I chose the right class. You guys see that? That's insane. Get in the middle of a bunch of enemies, dash away, and then the twin blades come back. That is so good. Howdy, Harry. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, got an altar of Lilith. Nice. time I get two charges out of the dash too which is awesome and I also have my regular dodge too Chris says this is pretty cool if you try to controller uh yes it can be played on controller absolutely I just chose mouse and keyboard because I think uh in the end you have more potential to be a better player on mouse and keyboard for this particular game. But generally speaking, that probably doesn't matter to most people. So yes, you can play with controller. That's it for the basement. The hell? Oh, there we go. I'm a loot goblin. Give me all that good stuff. A 
I kind of like the way my character looks right now, not gonna lie. Might just stick with this gear for the rest of the game. Shadow Step is more for melee build. Well, I am doing a melee build, so I think it would work fine. I think Shadow Step could be pretty good with, uh, with Twisting Blades. I just am going to stick with Dash for now. Because Dash will get me through enemies as opposed to two enemies. I think at this moment in time, I'm looking to get through enemies. Energy. Okay, we should be getting close to Yelezna here. We're now in 135 out of 2490. Um, no, actually, in this game, you can actually choose um, as many abilities as you want with a limit of only being able to have six active skills at one time. So I think you could actually just put all basic skills on your hotbar here as long as you put a point into each one. You could have nothing but basic skills. That would be really stupid, of course. But yeah, you can have multiple of, uh, of one class of skills. And I might even try doing dash and shadow step because now the more that I think about it, then I would have even more potential for moving around with the Twisting Blades flying around. But if I do take two from one category, then I'm not going to have enough points, or not going to have enough options, or not, not going to have enough keybinds here for all of the different categories of skills. Like, if I do that, then I might not be able to have an ultimate or something like that. You have to sacrifice something else. so powerful it is so powerful this will be nice playing a rogue too when i start running multiplayer i remember when i played the necromancer i was like eight rooms behind everybody else everybody already had the entire dungeon cleared out <laughs> i'm gonna be so sad if they nerf that more time. I need more time. And yeah, we've almost arrived in Yelesna. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to slot my move onto my middle mouse button and also my left click. Because I don't want to move with the middle mouse button, generally speaking. But there's going to be some times where I don't want to click on an enemy and I want to move towards that enemy. I think that'll help a lot without getting stuck in the attack animation. So let's see. Oh, save. Let's see if that works. It does. Nice. Okay. Can also hold down the middle mouse button too. That's kind of awkward on the hands though. I think that'll probably be something that I make good use out of. Okay, dash. Enemies damaged by dash take 20% increased critical strike damage from you. Sure. One thing about the rogue is getting into and out of combat quickly. Get in, slice, get out, don't get hit, and the surprise attacks from afar. True. Very true. I don't like the red hood right there, but we could transmog it away. 
Where the hell is this damn town? Okay, we have made it to your last. Darkness encroaches on the light. Dull swords must be sharpened and armor polished. She speaks the truth. A lot of side quests in here. What will it be? Imagine paying 8k for blue boots from the vendor. Imagine. All right, I'm going to pick up these side quests, but I'm only going to do them if I come if I come near one out as I am doing the main quest. Leave me alone. I'm off duty. Just trying to have a look. Look, I didn't ask for this post, but as long as I'm here, I may as well make some money. Don't worry, I'll tithe. Why are the mines closed? Story changes depending on who you talk to. Some say demons, others say werewolves. Don't really matter, all means the same thing. Closed mines and idle hands. How is Yelezna surviving? The cathedral, mostly. Well, people don't want to admit it. Too proud. Don't want them here, but can't survive if they leave. You're dependent on them. You seem to be doing well. <laughs> Probably better than it should. Hard times make people want to feel something. A little drink, a little gambling. Better than... <laughs> Wait your turn, you drunkards! There's blades From Yelezna, the I set out on my pilgrimage. I offered thanks at a roadside shrine and received a blessing for my journey. Alright, pick up the other two side quests and then we'll push on with the main. You seem troubled. My husband, Theodore, left our home in the middle of oh, the night. Oh shit, I didn't mean... I heard him talking to hate someone, this another woman... I, I hate went this to lady. confront them, but they fled towards a strange light in the forest. They have been gone all night. I think it's time I went after him, but the forest is dangerous. Would you accompany me? She's gonna follow me. Damn it, shouldn't have picked that one. Yeah. Ah, this blister is killing me. I need new boots. The plague. What kind of services do you provide? I provide a steady supply of, shall we say, specimens for the clergy nearby. However, their desire for knowledge has become more dangerous to satisfy. Hmm. I require a host of intact ghoul hearts from the surrounding area. There's something special about the ravenous dead nearby. They can reanimate with only a few drops of blood. I'd venture out and retrieve these myself, but... I'm more accustomed to dealing with the fully dead. Your discretion is appreciated, of course. And you will be rewarded. The knights are willing to teach us a few tricks. This damn cold chews me to my bones. Can't wait to get out of here. Ah, uh, can't you see I'm busy? Yes, the knights are not... What do you need? Prava sent me. I'm looking for Vigo. You and that nuisance of a child both. Girl's been nagging us about a demon woman all week. Vigo's gone, looking into her claims. He should be at the mining camp north of here. Whole escort of knights went missing there last week. Along with the girl's mother and another woman. Watch yourself out there. Go to the mining camp at Pine Hill. A demon woman has been sighted in Gale Valley. A knight penitent named Vigo, hosted at the mines, may know more. Okay. Off we go. Middle mouse button is still tied to the basic skill as well. Oh, shit. So, so you're right. Stupid. So how would I... How would I disable... Oh, combine move, interact, and basic skill. 
Um, damn, that's gonna... Oh, wait, what is force move? Mo moves you to your cursor's location without attacking monsters or interacting with objects. That's what I'm looking for. Thanks for pointing that out. I appreciate that. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Okay. That's why I got you guys around. You know that? I remember when there was a hanging only... Been working on this door for days. Not much else to do around here. Okay, so we have to progress the campaign and complete Mount Donan's favor to gain access to mounts. Off we go. To the mines to confront Vigo. Oh, there we go. That works so good. Need a new TV gold. Oh, I think the game's pretty good so far. Oh, shit. What'd I just do? Hold on, y'all. Whoa. Okay, we're back. I clicked on my second monitor. It changed everything around on my second monitor. This is the Ghoul Hearts side quest right here. I might as well just do it while we're here. You know, the nice thing about Diablo is you don't actually click on your keyboard that much because you move with the mouse. So it's not that loud. Need more time. Because my keyboard is really loud, and if I was clicking it constantly, it would be really annoying. Okay, we finished that side quest, so let's push on to the mine. Yeah, so for my second monitor, um, I couldn't figure out how to fix it. I think there's something wrong with the new drivers that I recently updated. But I did switch my DisplayPort cord for an HDMI cord, and it seemed to solve the problem, so... I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I temporarily fixed it. I'm low on energy. I would prefer to have a DisplayPort it allows me to run things better um, and I can do 144 Hertz on both monitors which is nice to sync those up with the HDMI cord the max I can get is 100 Hertz but it seems to be working fine so I guess I don't care at the moment I'm not ready yet Hey, Keats, what's up? I'm not sure if this game is on Steam, is it? Did, did Blizzard drop it on Steam for launch, too? More strangers in the camp. Hello, brother. How you doing? And uh, thank you to all 309 of you guys that are watching right now. I appreciate it. If you guys are looking for a full run of the campaign, you are in the right spot. Hoping to uh, push on and be able to complete it within a couple days, and then I can start having some... Dungeon fun. Not on Steam, okay. Can't get in, CJ. I was sent. Hey. I know what I saw. She had horns like a beast. Strode right past where you stand. Just think, my mother's trapped in there with her. 
You let my mother through, sir. Shouldn't you be responsible for her safety? But... We have soldiers stationed inside. You should be worried about them, too. <sighs> Maybe you can help me. What brings you to Yelesna? My mother and I study the Haradrim. We are on to something big. But then she ran off. It's not like her to abandon the hunt. They study the Haradrim, which is the order that Lorath is from? Why are these mines sealed off? Uh, mines are closed on church orders. They're not safe. Especially not for children. Ugh. Reverend Mother Prava sent me. She did. The Horned Woman is the demon Lilith. No, that can't be. My mother taught me that name. You speak of the Daughter of Hatred. Did Prava mention me? She wasn't angry, was she? There's more than your job at stake here. <sighs> Come on. Let's get this over with. Follow Vigo to the Or Hoist. Vigo, Nyrell, and I venture into the mines to pursue Lilith and Nyrell's mother, the Nar. This quest is pretty cool story-wise, but I remember this being, like, my least favorite quest to do, gameplay-wise. I really like that the resources that you pick up don't go into your regular inventory. It's nice. <sighs> the damn hoist is stuck. We've got to go on foot. You got it, brother. Look out! I'm low on energy. Hey, that's my mother's tool on my wrist. Hmm. It's mine now, girl. She gave it to me when I let her and her friend pass through. Not working. You bought the digital deluxe? Damn. Looks like PlayStation servers are just having problems tonight. Any PC players having any problems getting on right now? Is there a wait time? I feel like Blizzard might have figured out the Q thing during the server slam beta. I wonder if there would be more people playing during the server slam than the game's official launch, considering that it was free. Need more time. Problems on PC. Keep close. Hey, look. In my defense, PC usually has performance problems when games release. So let us live. Let us live happy for a little bit, okay? You Sony players, you guys deserve a little bit of troubles Maybe once in a while. We should go back, round up the knights, and leave my mother in Lilith's care for as long as that will take. No, I'm going on. Not accepting the license. Oh. Well, I'm just saying in general. Us PC players usually have problems with a lot of things on a game's launch. What I'm saying is I'm happy that you guys are having problems. <laughs> just kidding. I don't have enough energy. I'm not ready yet.
even though the legendary gear or the rare gear is worse armor wise you get way more affixes to the gear so i think that's a better choice Listen to that music. Dead end. Rubber banding. I haven't exper I experienced that once so far in this session, but overall it's been pretty good for me. Beams are too damn old. Shaking like leaves. Needs time to return. My game won't work. Yeah. yeah, it would have been nice if Blizzard offered an offline mode. Especially considering that the other Diablos had it. Did Diablo 3 have it? I think it did. Kind of shitty that they did that. Alright, so. Dealing damage to crowd-controlled enemies with dash reduces its charge cooldown. Dash slows enemies it hits by 30% for 3 seconds. Any enemy already slowed will be dazed. So we're going to go with the cooldown reduction. I want to use it as much as I possibly can. Check this little dead end right here before I push on. Needs time to recharge. That's all I had to check. That's it. I need more time. Gonna have to get into a nice rhythm of dashing and dodging or rolling really figure out the cooldowns and get into that rhythm of when I can activate what. What's special about this place anyway? What would draw Lilith here? Well, hell if I know. Prava doesn't tell us anything. No one goes in, nothing comes out. That's all. I'm not ready yet. The jam must be deeper down. Locked. Over here. I can squeeze through to the other side. Wait, hold on. Look how good the and game looks. There she goes. Mm, enemies approaching. Nowhere to go. The fight's coming to us this time. Almost there! Hoping I get carpal tunnel from playing this game.
remember after that first beta session, my wrists were hurting so bad. I also didn't realize you could hold down the click button, so I clicked like 7,000 times in one session. That's being modest. That was... No, games don't carry over from the beta goal. Golem has downvoted a lot. Yeah, that game pretty much sucked. If it was a respectable price, I wouldn't bash on it. But when you're charging 50 bucks and you have microtransactions for emotes in a single player game, emotes and a lore compendium, you had to pay money to get a lore compendium for a game based on Lord of the Rings. Why would your mother? If it didn't have stuff like that, I wouldn't really back talk. I just say as a she wouldn't. So whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or she shouldn't have. I'm sure she had good reason. That leaves a sour taste in my mouth when you're charging 50 bucks and you have microtransactions like that. time world tier two on another Lord of the Rings game. <laughs> remember there was another game, I don't remember which game it was, where the, the game release was atrocious. It was a horrible game. And then shortly after, like, they did a big announcement that they're working on another game. And it was like, that probably that wasn't a good call for marketing, but if anything, you could keep the devs if you need them for whatever and uh, just change the name of the company. Keep it... Keep it kind of hidden. I need more time. There's been some companies that have rebranded after games before. Or they merge into another company. They're working on another Lord of the Rings online game now. Not sure how that will turn out. I'm not dying here. I'm out of energy. Sweet. I did see the apology, and I thought it was silly, because if you don't lower the price of the game and get rid of the stupid microtransactions, then don't you might as well not even apologize. Nobody cares. You're going to still charge $50 and you admit that the game is trash? Apology not accepted. <laughs> you know, in defense of Amazon, with MMOs, even though I think they'll probably botch Lord of the Rings Online, New World never had any pay to win in it, and I don't know if it even does to this day. That was pretty impressive for an MMO. Even though New World didn't really have longevity, the fact that they didn't do a pay to win cash shop, bravo to Amazon for that. Good. Everyone made it. The tunnel's closed. We're, we're trapped without the hoist. Look, there she is. I'm Rush. What is it, Nyrell? That statue. It's her. The way I saw her. Lilith. We need to find my mother. Kind of reminds me of the statues in Grimforge in Baldur's Gate 3. I'll leave it at that for spoilers, though. 
We barely escaped the collapsing mines, and now we find ourselves in a strange realm even deeper within the earth. Have we just gone from bad to worse? I wonder if I should go back to camp, upgrade my potions. Nah, that'll take too much time. I don't know what it will save in terms of dungeon progress. I don't know how that works in this game, so... We'll just push on. Over there! The hoist! At last, I'll ride out. Oh, hell. A demon. Here? I got you, brother. Slain? What happened? Vigo, shut the hell up. Before I put you to sleep. We need reinforcements. No, we can do... <clears throat> what was that? It came from beyond the gate. I don't even know how you look at the cash shop in this game. I would love to look at it, though. We'll, we'll take a look at it at the end of the session. Let me just see. You know what? Whatever. Hold on. Wait. Tajal encountered an error and is unable to make offers at this time? Maybe the first time ever in my entire life that I was sad that I couldn't see the cash shop. Over there. Who did this? A woman. Vigo. It was one of the women you sent. Only. She wasn't human. I'm gonna run to the bathroom while this is playing out. A demon. Like the statue. Claims she mothered sanctuary. It was a dead bloodbath. The other woman, Venard. Where is she? She begged for her life. Lily spared her. Let her deeper in. Give up, girl. She's lost. Vico, you must listen. Steel did nothing. Oh, 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 spells. Prayers. All useless. Go to Colval. Tell Plower. Raise the army. The father. Evil itself. Walks sanctuary. Do this. For me. He is dead. I'm done for. Your mother told me this trinket would bring good fortune. To think I trusted her. She bribed you with it, didn't she? You weren't supposed to let her through at all. But it's not too late. She can still be saved. Not by me. Not anymore. Brava will know what to do. You're leaving us? Abandoning her? There's nothing left to abandon. <sighs> She's good as dead. I'm sorry, kid. He, he really just left us. <sighs> it's up to us now. What I miss? Somebody summarize it for me. Hey, what's up, Keith? How are you? Chocolate on my lips right now. Search for Lilith and Venard with Nyrell. Vigo has dep departed to seek Prava's guidance, but Nyrell and I press on. We must pick up Lilith and Venard's trail in the ancient city of Kazama. Curtis. Turtley turds. <laughs> Lilith showed me the this ugly truth of our fun. cosmos. The eternal conflict. Angels and demons have battled over control of all of creation for all time. To what end? I asked, and she simply laughed. It's very similar to the blood war in Forgotten Realms lore. Except it's demons versus devils in the blood war. 
But angels do sometimes get involved, like Zariel, from Descent into Avernus. What is this? How your mind races. Yes, I am Lilith, mother of sanctuary. Daughter of hatred. I have what you seek. You hunger for knowledge. You dragged your child all over Sanctuary in pursuit of it. No, I... I taught her how to survive. Is that what you want to believe? Drop the act. You have questions. I have answers. I know the fabric of the cosmos. Manipulation. Everything I've read has warned me against you. You've read so much, yet know so little. Will you accept my offer? I... I don't know. Will you let me try? I want to try. Your mother is alive. She came this way with Lilith. How can you be sure? Uh, sometimes I see visions of the past. I saw them. What? How? Lilith's petals. Her blood was fed to me once. Hmm. Damn me. Uh -oh. Wonder if they would hire me for something like that. His voice acting. Lilith saw a way to escape the eternal conflict. She tells me it started with the seduction of the angel, Inarius. All this time, he was just as fallible as any man. True! <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Lilith, you can seduce me any day of the week. Morning, afternoon, or night. Need more time. Just saying. The offer's out there. Search for a way deeper into Kasama. Angels want Poon to... I mean, come on, guys. This is a PG stream. For Cripe's sake. I'm not ready yet. Angels do not give in to the desire of man. Unless you're Anarius. Unless it's Lilith. Lilith is Sanctuary's mother. Somehow I felt the truth of it the moment she said to those knights. She said it to those knights. Now I know how. She used Anarius to craft this world, a refuge from the eternal conflict. Interesting. Voice acting should be a thing. I've said for years that Celasta should hire you. You are, uh, you're too kind to me, Keith. Actually, the, the voice acting in this last is pretty bad. That actually might be an insult. Need more time. All my life, I've sought the origin of humankind. It was always her. From the union of angels and demons came the first generation of humanity. They were powerful. Movers of mountains, shakers of sea. See ya. It's a 
slow bar. Cuddling with someone with huge horns. There ain't gonna be there ain't gonna be too much cuddling go on going on if I get the night with Lilith. Let's just put it that way. It needs time to recharge. That would be the least of our concerns. Keep messing with the DPI on this mouse by accident. I'm not ready yet. It's a nice ring. Alright, so I have Dash fully leveled up now. Puncture and Twisting Blades fully leveled up now. I think it's time for some passives. Let's see what we got for passives. You gain 4% close damage reduction, and that leads to heal 1% of your maximum life when you critically strike close enemies. I wonder if what that would go to. Would it go to heal 1% of your maximum life when you critically strike close enemies? Depending on how many crits you get, that could actually be pretty damn good. You have to do a crit build, though. Critically striking an enemy grants 5% movement speed for 4 seconds. That sounds really good, too. Gain 5% damage reduction against damage over time effects. I like that. And gain a bonus when attacking based on weapon type. Daggers, 5% increased damage to healthy enemies. Swords, 3% increased damage. Bows, 4% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Crossbows, 5% increase to critically strike. Alright, I'll take the damage boost right now. We have time to figure out the other ones. Kind of looks like Bleak Faith a little bit. You guys remember that game? I actually thought that game was pretty good. Even though it had its problems. Felt like a pretty cool project. Okay, what am I supposed to do here again? I'm not ready yet. Hope I can do this next fight without having my health potions. She was so proud in the telling of this part. Lilith and Anarius bore a son together, Rathma. He is wise beyond years. The first to untangle the power of necromancy. She says his lair lies deeper in. Ah, oh, there. Pursue Lilith and Venard with Nyrell. So curious. You are eager to know why you were spared. Yes. Do you have faith in me? I want to. Good. For now. All you need know is that we are going to meet my son. Rathma, the first necromancer. He is that, and more. He is the key to my plans. It sounds like they're searching for Lilith's son, Rathma, together. 
Mother, what are you thinking? Hmm. Hey, Hammer. And Thara could jump into the Nine Hells. My girl. I need more time. Just decapitated that guy with twisting blades. That was pretty sick. Need more time. Well, I certainly don't match right now, but that'll have to do for now. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. Definitely having a lot more fun with the rogue this time around. I'm not ready yet. the DPI. I'm gonna have to disable the DPI thing on my mouse. I love this mouse so far though. G502. Highly recommend it. I actually bought the Aerox Wireless 5 from uh, Steel Series, and it was a cool mouse. But the side buttons were placed in really weird positions and I used kind of a bit of a claw grip. Definitely didn't suit my grip but the G502 works great. Oh shit, I gotta be careful with my HP. Getting kinda low here, my friend. Final mouse and Logitech Super Light. I'm not ready yet. Oh, there's so many places to go, this is crazy. This is why I don't like this quest. Just a bunch of uh, straightaways. I need more time. to recharge. A lot of potions right now, pretty much. I feel like I need to upgrade my potions right now. But screw it. Let's press on. I need more time. Huh. Blocked again. Does Lilith know we're coming? I discovered our first bug of the playthrough. I'll take it, though. You've mastered your fear, but I still 
sense your pain. You miss your daughter. My magpie. She's scared right now. She must be. Go. Or stay. It is time to choose. I... I trained her well. She's a good kid. Strong. She'll be all right, she... You've chosen well, my child. To reach Rathma, we will need to cross a lake at the bottom of these ruins. It requires a ritual. I will teach you. As you wish, mother. Good. You're ready for lesson one. Blood is the key. What did you see this time? I don't need sparing. Tell me. Lilith plans to teach your mother a ritual. One that needs blood. Your mother seemed receptive we have to reach them good story so far yeah i think i like logitech i also like steel series though too i love my steel series headset probably my favorite headset that i've ever owned shit Keep doing the stupid mouse deep. Damn it. I need more time. It's interesting because this mouse has buttons on the side of the top, too. You guys can see them where my finger is right here. Those are two buttons right there. And there's also three buttons on the side, too. And those buttons on top actually control the, the DPI of the mouse. I've been clicking it by accident. The animations are so good. I know I missed a couple passages way back, but I don't feel like running back at this point. Told you to turn those off. Yeah, but I like to try things before I just do other people's settings. Now I know that I need to turn it off. Time. Yeah, man, I'm taking some serious damage. Steel Series make good headsets. Keycaps are mid, but headphones are fire. Sometimes I lose track of my mouse cursor and I'm just swinging around like a madman. Wait, did I actually did I reach the next skill? Oh shit, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Next level, we get to take our subterfuge skill of Concealment, Smoke Grenade, Poison Trap, or Dark Shroud. I think I'm going to take Dark Shroud, add to our defense a little bit, because you can tell I'm already pretty damn squishy right now. I need more time. I'm not 
ready yet. Yes. to have a bit of range capabilities with that puncture shot. Time. Dash is really nice just for running around the dungeons, too. Need more time. I have a feeling that during this upcoming boss fight, I'm going to struggle big time without upgraded potions. Well, that looks silly. This barrier, it looks like the same kind of magic as before. Demons approach. We need to get through. I think I can dispel it. That was a little hectic. Our pursuit of Lilith and Bernard led us to the mysterious morning shore. Yeah. How sweet this tastes. Lilith asked me to aid in a ritual. Sacrifice a priest from the escort. He had no fight. He just prayed as we made his blood useful. Forgive my hand, I'm still shaking. Power dances along my bones. I walk the path of our maker now. I get Enough carpal tunnel, blood. I'll have to sue myself for workers' I comp. Follow you to the ends of sanctuary, mother. Girl. I'll sue the shit out of myself. I'll get rich as hell. There she is. Oh, here we go. Wish me luck, y'all. It's about to be crazy as a rogue. Go ahead. I have your back. Mother? Nirel? You're just in time. Beyond this lake, 
lies the necropolis of the firstborn. A trove of magic and knowledge. I opened the way for Lilith. But I could not pass through with her. I... I lack divine element, you see. Stop. But I can find it. I'm so close. I simply need... Mother, stop. Look at what Lilith has done to you. You're writing in your own blood. My little magpie. She awakened me. She showed me things... I can't even put into words. Once I've finished, you will understand. Mama's I don't care gone crazy. what she showed you. Please, let's just get out of here. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, clever magpie. Trying to lead me away so you can take all this for yourself. Hmm? <sighs> this is my discovery, not yours. I will finish these runes with your blood. Shit, man. You must stop this. I think Mama's gone batshit crazy. She's given me. Okay, here we go. Here we go, baby. Time. Dude! You're getting stunned. Alright, reset. Let's go. We got this. Phase one complete. Way there. I don't want you to die. Oh, shit. I need some defensive abilities. Holy crap. It's time to recharge. That was pretty crazy. I'm sorry. You were... You were protecting me. I, I have not, Volpeace. 
I'm trying. I really am. We're going to make Lilith pay for what she's done. So we need blessed blood. Go back to your Prava. Get that blessing. Beg if you need to. Whatever it takes. My mother started this damn ritual. I'm going to finish it. Meet me in the Mistral Woods. Why there? The Haradrim hid a vault there. Finding it was her life's work. So much for that. Maybe it will help with the ritual. If not, at least I can bury her where she'd want. I need time. I'm sorry. Just leave me. Sad story. But what are you going to do, you know? What are you going to do about it? It's time to go back to Kyobashad and upgrade our potions. It's Diablo, no happy stories. Hey, Judge, what's up? Yeah, I heard PlayStation's having a rough time right now with Diablo. That really sucks, especially considering that it's... Well, it's actually Thursday night, not Friday night. Hopefully they have it sorted out by tomorrow when a lot of people have off for the weekend. I can't do that here. My rogue's armor looks pretty stupid right now. I want to increase the potency of my healing potion. Well, you certainly have the look of someone who spends a lot of time in the wilds. I expect you'll also want some of my elixirs. But let's focus on your healing potion for now. Of course, I forgot to I take that barb elixir. I have some extra materials we can use this time. If you want to improve your healing potion further, or craft any elixirs, you'll need to source your... I forgot to take the 5% experience boost potion. I've been saying that this entire time and during the beta. I keep telling you guys I'm going to forget. And I just forget every time. I know myself, I guess. Heals 48 life instantly and 35% of your maximum life over 3 seconds. Beautiful. Next upgrade's at level 20. Let's go ahead and craft another one of these barb potions for me to never actually drink it. Um, we don't need to refine any resources. So let's get the hell out of here. I think I got to stop at the blacksmith too. Not in town. Found an old boil on my hand that, that, that makes 17 so far. Let's have a look at you, hmm? Hmm. Buckles need reinforcing. This leather's cracked. What have you been getting yourself into, huh? Look. You live or die by the quality of your equipment. If you've the coin and materials, I can improve it for you. Midori, thank you for the $5 super chat. I wish I was joking, but I bought the $1.99 plat and it let me in on the PS5 right after. Same for a lot of other people. Talk about pay to win. That'd be, that'd be funny if somebody actually investigated that. Figure out if it was like a code behind the scenes or something like that. Make sure to spend your extra dollar ninety nine on top of the ninety or hundred dollars that you already spent. All right, cool. Now we have um, upgrade weapons and items, but I'm not going to do that at this moment because it's kind of a waste. Unless you're struggling really hard. If I were to upgrade this, upgrade it by three. It costs five hundred and also a little bit materials. Let's get a hold off on upgrading right now. 
save the gold. Because we're going to need it later on, that's for sure. Huh. Oh, wait, I have to upgrade an item. Damn it. All right. Well, in that case, I guess I'll upgrade my... In that case, I guess I'll upgrade my mother's knife. All right, for 500 gold and seven iron chunks, we are going to get a plus four to damage per second, plus 0.6 to damage to close enemies, 0.5% damage to stunned enemies, 0.3% to damage over time, and 0.5 to damage to close enemies. Well, since I'm here, I might as well just finish it off now. I like the sound effects in this game. All right, speak with the Reverend Mother Prava at the Cathedral of Light. I must speak with Reverend Mother Prava and convince her to provide a blessing so I might travel beyond the Black Lake and continue my pursuit of Lilith. You got it, buddy. I don't think we unlock the jeweler or the occultist until like level 15, 20, 25-ish. We can't get our mount until 30-something, so we got a little while until we are able to get that stuff. So let's press on with the main story. $102. See that the kitchen is ready for the morrow's service. Angels above. You've returned. I need a holy blessing to continue chasing Lilith. The Reverend Mother will want to hear of this, but she's away at Corvalar. Seek your blessing there. For Christ's sake, dude. Everything is unfolding as Inarius foretold. Soon, he will be free to escape sanctuary and return to the heavens where he belongs. I'm gonna make sure I keep moving my legs, moving my toes. It's all about health in 2023. What do you know of Reverend Mother Prava? As a girl, she was sick. Plagued by constant seizures, but Enarius healed her. When I met her, I was a sinner, but her faith showed me what I could be. There's no one better fit to lead us. What is Kor Valar? One of our defenses against the prime evils. We fight terror with faith, hatred with compassion. We've built the mighty towers at Corvalar to withstand destruction. Okay. Inarius foretold this. He was given a prophecy. Light piercing hatred's heart, it said. He knew what it meant. That he was fated to kill Lilith. And when he does, he will be redeemed. And he will ascend to the heavens once more. Really hoping for a cutscene between Lilith and Inarius, a fight scene in Blizzard cinematic style. That would be pretty epic. All right. Speak with Red. Nope. Yes. Speak with Reverend Mother Prava and Kor Valar. We get the blessing to travel beyond the Black Lake. Or we could go search for Nyrell in the Mistral Woods. Let's go to Kor Valar. Instead, just talk to this guy. Currently level 12. I feel like I am leveling somewhat fast for someone who's going through all the story. I feel like it took longer in the beta. Could be wrong. My brother told me you have to shield your eyes in the father's presence or his light will make you blind. That's I think so, Christopher. Hands. It seems like a quality game. Even if you don't play endgame, the, uh, the base game is quite enjoyable so far. Blizzard usually does a good job on gameplay mechanics. Definitely feels that way with Diablo 4. Not in town. Everything feels really good. I am liking the rogue. Once I figured out this Twin Blades build. It seems very powerful. Okay, we also have a side quest up here too. Gather spirit anima from undead. Might as well bang it out.
going to be so cool to kill the world boss for the first time not in the beta. True. Curtis, you speak the truth. Not often, but sometimes you do. I'll give you credit. I'm still not used to using the middle mouse button to move, the force move. But I would definitely recommend... Uh-oh, a broken skeleton. You guys thinking about trying that out, because it's pretty hindering when you're trying to move, but you just are forced to use your basic attack because you're clicking on where an enemy is. Sometimes there's enemies all over the screen, so there's nowhere to actually click to move. But having it, having forced to move on the middle mouse button, even though I suck at it, when I actually am able to think of it, it's definitely a big help. Alright, we're almost done with this side quest. almost done holy crap how many of these damn things do i gotta pick up need more time it is done it is done i can die happy man Oh, I gotta, I keep forgetting, I gotta collect my rewards. Twin blades for the win. Drink your XP potion. Thank you. Florida, you get MVP of the chat tonight. Wait, did I just drink it? Yeah, okay. 5% XP boost. Let's go, baby. Looks like there's like a world event or something going on in there, but I'm going to skip that for now. Three K gold and one skill point. And it looks like we now finally have access to our subterfuge skills. And I'm going to pick up Dark Shroud. Surround yourself with up to five protective shadows. Gain 8% damage reduction per active shadow. Each time you take direct damage, that damage is reduced and a shadow is consumed. So picking up my first defensive ability for the rogue. Dark Shroud shadows have a 10% chance to not be consumed. While you have at least four active shadows, gain 8% critical strike chance. Each active shadow grants you 4% increased movement speed. All right. Um, and that's going to be on my mouse button, too. 
Yeah. Nice. That's pretty sick. I wonder if I should move that to three. I'm going to put that on three. Can I do that? I think you can. So let's go to... Make use of my third mouse button. Yeah. Since that's one that I don't have to spam that often, I'll leave it for the thumb. Oh, I have another ability point, too. All right, Dark Shroud Shadows have 10% chance to not be consumed. We'll take that. Moving right along tonight. Fantastic story so far, too. I remember rubber banding in this area in the beta. I wasn't able to get past this mountain pass up here. Broski channel, what's up? How are you? Damn, where'd my mouse go? Am I the only one that loses my mouse? I can't. I have no idea where it's at sometimes. I wonder if there's like a option to make that bigger. All right, you know what? I'll do this little world event right here if I'm able to. Shit, this isn't going to be good. You're not ready yet. Gotta get in the habit of using Dark Shroud. I need more time. Starting to get the hang of it. A little bit of muscle memory required here. Trying to train that thumb. Very nice. We are currently at... How do you see the Renown? Where the hell is it? It used to show up on the top of the map. I thought it showed up on the top of the map. I need more time. was close. I'm not ready yet. Turned up that DPI to like 1600. <laughs>
Hey, Septemic. Not sure what the timer is on the world bosses. Good question. Wish you could change the color of the mouse cursor as opposed to the size. That would be pretty sweet. I can't activate that shrine. Yeah, we're getting close to Corvalar. You guys didn't see that. Shit. I want to talk about it. First Diablo 4 death. First Diablo death of my entire lifetime. I didn't die ever in Diablo 1, 2, or 3, even one time. And I just died in Diablo 4 for the first time. You gotta be shitting me at a low level too. That is just really bad for a, a world-renowned professional Diablo player. That just, that's embarrassing. You guys will never believe me now. Very MLG of you. Just need to show you guys that I'm also human. You know what I mean? You guys idolize me as like some amazing professional player, but really, I mean, things happen sometimes. I mean, pretty much never for myself, but once in a while it happens. When, when my mouse button gets stuck, it usually happens like, like back then. Expects me. Open the gates. Damn new mouse. Gotta break it in a little bit. There's still tape on it. That's why I died. I'm in town. Delete your character and go to bed. You were good soldiers. Worked hard. Fought hard. Drank hard, too. Brothers. Sisters. I hope you find peace in these flames. Vigo. What are you doing here? So you lived. I came clean to Prava. About taking that woman's bribe. Uh, it's looking bad. My ass is on the line. Might not have a job when she's done with me. Hey, you're here for her, right? Let's go together. Maybe she'll go easy on me if you're He's trying there. to keep his job. I respect it. All right, speak with the Reverend Mother Prava. Not in town. Not many could bear your sins. Is that armor? This is no mere armor. This is a holy vessel of the highest craftsmanship. It may uplift the repentant sinner directly to the light. Can armor do that? True. It looks too large to move. Faith 
rather than flesh moves this suit. Though how is only known to a privileged few. The practice has been long abandoned. Something big is coming. Holy war. Mark my words. She wouldn't have asked me to prepare a relic like this otherwise. What's up, Beastly? How are you? We need his armor. I need new monitor. I'm trying to pick what's best for BG3. For CRPGs, I would just look for visual quality. You don't got to worry about like latency and all that. Oh. If you're like an FPS gamer, then you start Jeez, looking into other things. Us. I like 27 inch monitors myself. Here you go. Good luck. 1440p. Have the new watch commander replace the forces we lost at the mine. So, you've returned. Vigo here tells me you were braver than he. I need a divine blessing to chase Lilith. First, you will be made worthy of a blessing. A holy war cannot be won with faithless troops. Make no mistake, this war is holy. Lilith has brought the eternal conflict to sanctuary, and Inarius will deliver us as writ in prophecy. Until then, we have our parts to play. Make a pilgrimage to the Alabaster Monastery. Cleanse your spirit. Then we may discuss a blessing. You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? <sighs> gotta may cleanse well myself? myself useful. Come by a the map of Estuar south of here. with a throng of red markers and arrows all pointing towards the fabled city of Keldia. Not in town. I'm assuming that all the side quests will stay, even if I complete the main campaign. You would think so, Not right? In town. Complete the pilgrimage to the Shrine of the Penitent. Reverend Mother Prover requires me to complete a pilgrimage and be judged by Anarius before she grants me the blessing necessary to travel beyond the Black Lake and pursue Lilith. Now, those of you guys that haven't seen the story yet from the beta, this, uh... This quest leads to a pretty epic cutscene that we should be getting to some point in the near future. What must I do for the pilgrimage? There's a shrine west of here. There's a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin, weighs you down, body and soul, beats the hell out of you. It'll cleanse you, prepare you to stand before the Father. I hope you don't have many regrets, friend. This kind of thing is a lot deadlier for some than others. Watch out, all right? I'll find you at the end. What else can you tell me about the pilgrimage? Nothing good. Lost more than a few worthy soldiers to it. But it'll clean you up for Inarius. Rare honor for an outsider. <laughs> if you can call it that. You're not coming with me? Uh, no. I'm not ready. Not by a long shot. Even if I could survive the trail, there's no telling what would happen in the end. True. You, though, you have a solid chance. Do you believe the cathedral's prophecy? I had my doubts. The priests were always going on about the return of Lilith. But now she's here, just like they said. The middle of the monitor is where your eyes should line up to. Yeah, I agree with that. And uh, I had to raise my desk. Actually, I probably should raise it a little bit right now because I was having some neck problems not too long ago. And it was because I was constantly looking like this instead of like this. 
and then like you're on your phone later in the day and you're just looking down it can really cause some neck problems so that's why standing desks are the greatest you gotta just take in the ambience of this game just listen to it of white run in skyrim i look down at my phone way too much yeah me too gotta change that hark creature of darkness for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light lift your sins breathe deep the cold air the path to redemption lies before you if you have the faith to walk it Oh, I have the faith. Don't you worry about me. I think that's the first time I ever slid in this game. That was pretty cool. The only bad thing about dashing around is if I don't have a dash to get back, I have to run it back to get that gold. Which one to take for Dark Shroud now? While you have at least four active, you gain an 8% critical strike chance. Or each active shadow grants you a 4% increased movement speed. I think I'm going to go with that. Because that, we see an automatic, we see a benefit from that right when I cast it. We're going to be moving super fast. At least for leveling, that sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. All right, I'll pick it up. So let's try that out right now. See how fast I'm moving right now. And then let's cast Dark Shroud. Oh yeah, that's that is clutch right there. Dude, this is such a fast class. Hey Lucas, what's up? The rogue's pretty great so far. When you find the right build, the hell is this right here? Special release for BG3 builds. Thinking a Ranger Beastmaster. What I'm leaning towards right now. Of your wounds. Let the ice into your bones. Welcome your pain. For the agony of the flesh is the first cleansing of the soul. Make your faith stronger than any hurt. Kind of reminds me of Abderach. From BG3. Here we go again. Paladin Warlock for you, Richard. Nice.
We have a uh, computer computer technology chat over on the Discord, Caitlin. If you need anybody to uh, ask questions to, a lot of people are active in that chat. to the Father, for he has shown us the way. What side are you guys on? Lilith or Anarius? You guys are probably a bunch of angel lovers. A bunch of wimps. How come everything's red and dark? It's just the quest that I'm on. I'm cleansing my sins right now. Proving myself worthy to meet with Anarius, the angel. on what Lilith would do to get me on her side. True. The temptations and desires of man. Lilith knows how to use that to her advantage. Need more time. I'm with whoever gives you the most freedom. I don't know. I don't know much about the lore of Diablo, so I couldn't actually answer that question. And Arius doesn't really seem to be all that he's cracked up, all that they're making him seem like he is. Seems like kind of an asshole. He might be a bit uh, tyrannical, too. I'm not ready yet. We are just downing these mobs. It's crazy. When you get moving with the rogue, gotta make sure I pay better attention to my health, though. Read from the tablet at the altar at the anointed ascent. The end nears, pilgrim. Look into yourself. Find your faith. Feel how it fills the void within you. Remember, you are nothing without faith. Hold fast to the light and remember. Bring the idol of the faithful to the shrine of the penitent. You got it. 
It's not evil like me. I just have a feeling they're going to be nerfing. Man, I have a feeling they're going to be nerfing twin blades. And that just changes everything about the rogue. So the problem is twin blades is really powerful when you're good at movement. But the rogue just doesn't have much survivability. Like if you take away that that crazy damage. That also reduces our survivability even more because we can't kill things as fast. So we're taking more damage. Be interesting to see how the balancing changes are brought about over the next couple weeks. Rejoice in your faith. The Father has prophesied to redeem us all. A spear of light piercing hatred's heart. When he ascends to the heavens, he shall lift us with him to the light above. Well, that's a bunch of bullshit. It's a crock of horse shit. So, I like playing cards. Doesn't make me a sinner. But that bribe. Good soldiers died on account of what I did. Is that the kind of man I am? The kind I'll always be. I just... Damn it. I'm praying. Why isn't this working? Oh, you made it. That makes one of us, at least. You heard from Prava. I will, soon. But enough about that. You're about to meet Father Inarius himself. Not everyone comes back, you know. You'd better. I, I owe you a stiff drink. What's it like inside the monastery? Not sure. But I've heard crazy rumors. Daft old monk. If the unlucky bastard still lives, probably as cold in there as it is out here. It'll be ornate, that's for sure. Only the best for the one at the top. I gotta admit, we're moving pretty fast in the main story. Might actually see some new territory tonight that we, that we didn't get to see in the beta. All right, now that I have accomplished, or now that I have completed the pilgrimage, I must enter the Alabaster Monastery and submit to Inarius for his judgment. I can't remember if this is the epic cutscene or if I have to do one more quest. Get the impression that you have more leeway with Lilith? That's what I was thinking too. I would steer clear of both in any case. Too many prophecies going on? True. And remember, you are small, wonderfully small. How did you just call me? Why must I kneel? No, 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 it's not about kneeling. It's about wonder. Oh, the light itself, divinity itself radiates from that room. Though my flesh is cold and numb, my spirit is warm with reverence. What can we do but kneel? Dude's a little kooky. I get a better job. Shouldn't Anarius be at Cor Valar? And so he was, until the sweet poetry of the prophecy rang out to divine its message. He pilgrimaged deep into Sanctuary's heart to meet. Uh, well, I shouldn't say. To meet who? It pains me to withhold the truth of his light. But I sense it in you, pilgrim. So I shall tell you. He went to speak with the first of his children, Rathma, the prophecy's true author. So Rath he emerged armed okay. with sacred Interrupt conviction. Me, sure. A holy battle at the center of the prophecy to be won by his blade. 
He has meditated here for years and years ever since, readying to meet fate head on. So Lilith and Denarius are both seeking, uh, shit, what was his name? Rameth? How do you know so much about Denarius? How do you know the warmth of the sun? The love of your mother? True. The beauty of a song? True. His presence is infectious. It takes hold in the soul. We are a void without faith, an empty well. The pious fill their cups with prayer. Mine overflows with his light. So near, so pure. I am changed. I am nothing. I am better. Isn't it beautiful? You say so, loser. Whatever fate I am to receive awaits me there. Climb the stairs of the Hall of the Ascension. Or Hall of Ascension. Ooh, look at this. Creator of Sanctuary. This world is a temporary one. We were born into sin and corruption on Sanctuary. It's only through the good works of the Father we shall be lifted to the heavens above. I think this might be it. Are you guys ready for this? Cast down from the heavens, but prophesies to return. Our father Anarius will ascend to the heavens, and on his wings we will be redeemed. Let me get my phone ready, because if this is the cutscene, I'm going to go to the bathroom while it's playing. Okay, there we go. And thank you guys for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for the thumbs up on the stream. I will be continuing this series over the next week or two, uh, trying to do a full campaign run where I focus mainly on the main campaign, a little bit of side questing here and there. Um, and then after that, I'm going to let loose and just do dungeons and co-op and all that good stuff. But I'd like to do a stream series of the campaign alone because a lot of people are interested in that, but they're not buying this game for many different reasons. That's the goal. Thanks for being here. I'm going Lilith. I don't trust an Arias. Yes. This might be it. Be prepared for a very, very epic cutscene. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll be right back. This is how you choose to approach me. Forgive this intrusion, but... Tell me what you need. I must traverse the Black Lake, and that cannot be done without your blessing. If I've learned anything during my time here, it is that what we're looking for, and what we need, are rarely the same thing. I once thought I could find an end to this war. But there has been no resolution, only more pain. Everything I've done has pulled me further from home, from the place I need to be. This world we made was born from the impossible, and yet, like its creators, it rots from the inside. I... I don't... Lilith has entered the ancient city. With your blessing, I can pursue her. Your kind are weak, and this world has been wasted on the crusades of the unworthy. I can stop her. Hmm. This audience is concluded. Perfect timing. 
I found the solution to, to the I found the solution to going to the bathroom because not that it matters but whenever a streamer goes to the bathroom they usually lose about I don't know five percent of their viewership so for my crowd probably I don't know 15 to 20 people will usually leave once you go to the bathroom but I go to the bathroom during the cutscenes and I watch the cutscenes on my phone so therefore there's still something to look at so people don't get bored I figured it out I figured it out I'm a professional streamer you're welcome for the ideas when you guys make it big Inarius has judged me, but what that means for my mission remains unclear. I must return to Reverend Mother Prava and hopefully gain the blessing necessary to travel beyond the Black Lake and pursue Lilith. Inarius has judged me. Never liked that guy. Careful with your phone, we could see your screen. I'm not going to see shit, Emma. There's nothing that you can see on my phone. There is nothing that you could see that would give you anything. It's not like I have my bank account information open. But thanks. I appreciate the thought. I hate how it does this. Sometimes it, like, it makes me think that I gotta go back in here. Hey, Jessica, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. For all the new people in here, let me just take you quickly to the tavern. I'm trying not to go to the tavern too much because I want to focus on the playthrough and the campaign. But you know what? I think we deserve one trip here. Drinks on me tonight. Skull. It's been a while since we've been there. The good old tavern. All right, we have to speak with Reverend Mother Prava, but for some reason it keeps showing the quest marker over here, but I guess we're just going to ignore that for now. We got to go all the way up here to the north. And also, if you guys are new around here, in the video description, there is a link to the Discord server where all the core community members hang out on the daily. We have chats for pretty much everything over there. A kitchen chat, general chat, a chat for most games that are good, a uh, computer talk, All sorts of good stuff over there. If you guys want to join over there, feel free to join. I don't tag everyone that often, only when I release a video or if there's an important stream. So those are the only notifications that you'll be getting from me. That's usually like two tags a week. That was pretty chill. Let's make sure to go to the rules section, click on the wolf icon. And you are a free member after 10 minutes. You gotta wait 10 minutes to talk in the chats. And we have that because of bots and hackers and stuff like that. And uh, we do have a Diablo 4 chat over there. Um, I'm tempted to give Diablo its own category. Right now it's just one, a sing one single channel, but I'm not sure how many people are playing it. So you could have like a builds category or I could just keep one channel and everybody chats on that. I don't know. I'll figure that out as the week goes on. I don't like to have too many chats in my Discord because it gets kind of clustered and unorganized. But Hey, Don, what's up? Yeah, I got to figure out uh, starting a clan or something. I was going to look into that after the stream is over today. And then I'll just like... I mean, someone else can make it too. I really don't care. Uh, but if I make it, I'll just assign like a bunch of... Uh, officers or people that are willing to you know organize invites into the clan or something like that or we can all join another clan i don't really i don't really care as long as we have a place where the community can get together i'm good with that oh i don't think i want to go in there we're gonna come back to that and i'll be sure to pin the clan information over on the discord server so that's another place where you can get information for stuff like that only if you're a chill person and respectful, okay? Then you're invited. If you're not, get the hell out of here. I went right back into the castle. You guys see, you guys see how multitasking works in my brain? 
get a little inside peek into my brain when I start talking about something or I'm looking at the chat. I ran right back into the place that I was leaving because I was paying basically zero attention to the game. I'm out. Uh, Mount comes at level 35, I believe. So I am only level 14 at the moment. So we got a little while. I don't think I'll be getting them out tonight, but maybe I think I might do two sessions of Diablo tomorrow. I hate to tell you guys, I never finished the, the Sunday lore video for Baldur's Gate 3. I didn't finish it yet. Shit. I was supposed to finish it a couple days ago so I could play Diablo. Well, there's a chance that video might not be coming out. It might be, uh, or it might be like super short. I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow's Friday. You know, I could work on it on Saturday. But I just want to play Diablo. I don't want to make videos. That's not fun. All right, we'll pick up this quick side quest. I think I'm blacklisted from the clan. How fair is the ministry? An outsider. I could use your help. A dying knight mistook me for his confessor. He spoke of sacrilegious things. He said his party of knights found a secret to life eternal. A red chalice. Said the bishop leading them ordered them to drink of it deep. Okay, what's your problem? He confessed problem? they shelter now in a place he called the Sanguine Chapel. The chalice must be retrieved and I must leave. Find me at the Bear Tribe camp when you have it. Yeah, I'll probably pass on that lady, but uh, yeah, better luck next year. What can you tell me of the Sanguine Chapel? Not much. I couldn't find any record of it. But the knight said it was right under the father's nose, through a side door beneath the Alabaster Monastery. I gotta entertain her for a second. And what can you tell me of the Red Chalice? The knight said they found the Red Chalice in ancient ruins, far underground. It was covered in dust, yet still full of fresh blood. Thanks, Dan. He became uh, disoriented after that. I could only make out a few words. Of blood sermon. Sin. The man was petrified. Not my chair, not my problem. I can't do that here. Alright, Braz, catch you later. Enjoy The Last of Us. Pretty good, soldier. Surprisingly, I'm having a good time running through the story for the third the time. Light. Let our faith be our armor against the encroaching darkness. I can't do that here. Ah, you've returned. Come, let us speak inside. Out of the cold. I remember the last person who told me something similar to that, and her name was Priestess Gut. And what I thought was going to turn into a coconut oil massage turned into her poking her sword right up my rump. Not gonna lie, I kind of liked it though. What does the prophecy say? From the father's voice to my ears, a spear of light piercing hatred's heart. First Lilith, then the primes. He will deliver us from the eternal conflict. What will become of Vigo? Vigo and I had a good conversation when he returned. He will do his penance. Trust that he is in good hands. And why is Anarius here on the sanctuary? Penitence. In the heaven's eyes, creating humanity was a sin. They cast him down. Now he seeks redemption and the chance to go home. As prophesied, Slaying Lilith is that chance. When he ascends, so shall we all. Creating humanity was a sin. Inarius refused to bless me, Mother Prava. Yet you stand before me unscathed. I know his ways. That is approval enough for me. In the name of the light, I bless you. May the light flow through you and keep you 
from corruption and sin. Our victory is prophesied in the heavens. All right, now it's starting to get a little weird. Jab me at the first part, though. Quest complete. 1544 XP, 600 gold. I'm rich. Okay, so that was it for that particular quest. Is there a completed quest section? But we have another main quest we can currently work on. And that is Nyrell made for the Heradric Vault, hidden within the Mistral Woods. I will find her there. Search for Nyrell in the Mistral Woods. You got it. Imagine if Larian got a hold of Diablo. Split Diablo into an ARPG and a turn-based. Something tells me Diablo fans wouldn't be too happy with that. Hey, you guys get to see my hair now. I'm feeling good, not really spending uh, my resources or gold and just kind of saving up right now until we actually feel like the game is forcing us to upgrade that stuff. I'd rather save it, have more for the end game. All right, I do have to do a repair because I died because my mouse, I left the sticker on my mouse and my finger got caught on it. That's the reason why I died. So let's go ahead and repair all items. Don't think I need to upgrade at the moment. I think we're good. Oh, I thought I upgraded Mother's Knife all the way. I think we're good to head to Mistral Woods. Do, 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 do. I think I can probably also take that other potion. There we go, taking advantage of that 5% XP boost. This damn cold chews me to my bones. Can't wait to get out of here. Jessica, thank you so much for the Australian $4 super chat. All the way from Australia. Or super sticker, excuse me, the hippo. Thanks. I've returned with the ghoul hearts. Excellent work, friend. Ghoul hearts seem to have captivated the clergy as of late. It's no surprise, really. Understanding your enemy is the first step to defeating them. The ghoul hearts? The gold hearts? Not in town. Character looks awesome. Thanks, man. I'll take that as a major compliment right now because I'm only level 14, so. Oh, great. Christina's following us again. I, I might have to do this side quest. Oh, shit. Christina is the annoying lady that follows you around until you do it. We're going to do it real fast. Let me update you guys with this quest. I should have never picked it up. Shit, what's it called? All right, here it is. Unyielding Flesh. Christina has asked for help finding her husband, Theodore. She saw him flee into the woods with another woman. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get, do this one so Christina will stop freaking following me. I'm just gonna move super fast over there. I would never abandon a quest. We must complete the quest. Because then I would be a quitter. I'm not ready yet. I think it's okay if we get a little bit sidetracked one time. I mean, I told Christine I would help her, so, you know, it's my problem now. I'm just not happy about it. Certainly can't abandon her. Oh my god. Ready. 
Bruh, I just saved your ass, I'll tell you that much. Dude was getting swarmed. Oh, we have a basement over here. Guess we gotta go to the basement. There's probably an altar of Lilith over here too. I need to look. Keep an eye out. What's up, East? You can you can play solo. You don't have to play against other players. There is PvP in this game, but it's only in areas that are called the Fields of Hatred. But you can avoid. You don't need to go into them. Now, you can't technically play solo offline because it is a shared world. Um, but most of the dungeons are instanced. So if you go in solo, the dungeon will scale to your level and your you as a single party member. But you don't have to interact with other people. However, there are also things called world bosses and other events where other players uh, being around are kind of necessary. Unless you're a hardcore Diablo player, which most of us probably aren't. But generally speaking, yes, you can go through the campaign solo, but you do have to be online. I need more time. There's no offline play though, which is unfortunate because Diablo at its core has always been off allowed offline play. Personally, I'm okay with it, but people that, you know, don't have good internet connections or don't want to play online or whatever, it kind of sucks for them. I kind of like that Diablo's leaning into the shared world, kind of a little bit MMO-ish. Let's get this quest done. Here we go. Damn, man, this build is turning out to be really, really good. Christina, where is your husband? Kind of starting to piss me off a little bit, not going to lie. going my rogue is looking pretty sick right now not gonna lie with that black hair hanging down can't see you in game world but i remember seeing you during the server slam um yeah because we're not always in the same world as each other did we, did we like do, I can't even remember that. Did we do a world boss or something? I don't know if, uh, if this game places an emphasis on pairing you in the same world as people that are your friends or in your clan. I'm not sure about that. But everybody doesn't share the same world. That's for sure. There's like a million different worlds and you kind of just get thrown into one with whatever players are randomly also selected into that world at that time. It might even switch around. Like when you go into an instance dungeon, when you come back out, you might be with different players. I don't know if that's how it works, but. Okay, let's find her damn husband. in this game can use swords a lot of games you're kind of held the daggers I'm not really like the biggest fan of daggers i prefer swords or short swords i like how in this game you can actually run with dual swords all right we did get another ability point so let me pick that up 
we're going into passives now. And a couple more levels until we are able to invest into shadow imbuement, poison imbuement, or cold imbuement. So we're going to grab some passives. Using a cooldown increases your dodge chance by 4%. That could actually help a little bit with tankiness. Let me go ahead and polish off weapon mastery. All right. Is this him up here or is this a world? I think this is a world event. Yeah, it's a world event. Shit. I gotta protect three of these freaking caravans by myself. Christina's not gonna help, that's for sure. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. And we got a rare bow, too. Look at that thing. It's pretty badass. And the Grim Sin Helm. 14% fire resistance, 6 maximum energy, 4 life regeneration. While not damaged recently. Okay. Not too- oh shit, I forgot about the level up to access class priority quests. Completing them will unlock powerful specializations. We have combo points, inner sight, and preparation. So combo points, from what I remember, every time you do a basic attack, you build up one combo point. And then once you have three, you can expend them with a advanced attack, and you get like extra benefits added onto that advanced attack. So you're kind of like constantly looking at how many points you've built up before you pop your more powerful abilities. Inner Sight was like Hunter's Mark. You mark a target, and you get benefits. And then Preparation, I think, had something to do with cooldowns. Probably going to go with combo points. All right, where the hell is her husband, man? Like, what the hell is going on? This dude's taking up my entire night. I'm about to start swinging, and Christina's gonna end up being in the way. The hell is this, Jabroni? Scoured this damn entire area. All right, Elven Princess, have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out. Theodore. Riker's new video this afternoon about new build theory. No, I have not. I started watching one of Riker's videos on terminology used in Diablo and what it all means, but I never finished that. I got to get back to that tonight. Oh, where the hell is this doofus? I swear to God, man. Really bad at finding things, so I might have actually passed him without even knowing it. Doesn't look like he's up here. Okay. Oh, here he is. Oh, My shit. Sweet Not doing too good. I shouldn't have talked crap about him. Oh heavens! No, no. Such sights I have witnessed. Such pleasure. Such pain. I must have more. Pretty sick, Jubs. What, Fyodor? How is it that you? More. Please. Go after that woman who did 
He lost his wiener too. Making me a little uncomfortable, dude. Okay. Are, am I done with you, Christina? Because I'm getting quite sick of this quest. Are we done? Confront the mysterious woman. You gotta be shitting me. It's supposed to be a campaign run. You guys can thank Christina for that. It's no surprise Fedor was drawn to me. But I have given only what was desired. <laughs> His petty soul has been torn asunder by agony and ecstasy, but his flesh is unyielding. All right. You will not interfere. Let's throw it down. Come on. What are you waiting for? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mess with me either. What were you saying again? I didn't catch that. The woman was a demon. I have dealt with her. If it's a reward you want, take the dagger from his chest and leave me be. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking the dagger for a little extra gold on the side. I mean, I don't work for free, you know what I'm saying? Uh, lady? I think I just killed your husband. See, all those upgrades I did on that dagger earlier, like, all of it doesn't matter anymore. So it's, like, pointless upgrading pretty much any of your weapons at all while you're leveling up. Unless you're, like, having a hard time. Oh, it's barely. It's a little bit better. But actually, what do we got here? 7 all stats, 6.5 damage to distant enemies, 6.5 to stunned enemies. It's barely any better. Okay. Back we go. To push on with the main story. Dusted. Don't kick her while she's down. Late known. How you doing? Lost his PP. Must be from BG3. Maybe Fyodor will be your hireling all the way until he's level 1000 Paragon. No microtransactions shoved into my face every two seconds. Zero out of ten game. Diablo Immortal better. Nice. True. I respect that. Absolutely. 100% I agree. I want more microtransactions. It doesn't even feel right not being presented with a microtransaction before I go into a dungeon to get increased XP. Doesn't even feel right. We'll save that crude ruby. Amulet? Oh, absolutely. Give it to me, baby. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'll never do that again. I'm sorry about that. That was really weird, cringe, and awkward all at the same time. But it's too late. I already did it, and we gotta own it and move on. can't do that here. Alright, let's go find Nyrell. Your return to town portal will be closed once you leave. Whenever I see a werewolf, I get jealous of druid players. Twin Blades is so cool, it like decapitates the enemy when you walk away. You know, honestly... I haven't really looked at the store yet. We're gonna look at the end. Um, I don't want to interrupt the campaign run here. But yeah, they haven't like put a microtransaction in front of my face at all. Which, I mean, shouldn't be the case. That should be the norm. <laughs> but it's very surprising. It's nice to see Blizzard not take Diablo 4 the same direction as Immortal, at least to a certain degree. The problem is Immortal is designed for phone gamers, and Diablo 4 is designed for PC gamers or console gamers. And the two markets, even though they do overlap at times, um, they're definitely different in some ways, too, in terms of what they want in their game. At least Blizzard recognizes that to some degree, we could say right now. But I haven't really looked at the store yet, so... 
I'm sure the skins are ridiculously priced. It's coming. You wait till revenue slows down, right? Well, hopefully by that time I've already moved on from Diablo. And then I, well, I still care because it's still... I want the gaming industry to be good. But I won't care that much. I feel like I'm missing an altar of Lilith somewhere. Strange going on here. Narelle must be nearby. And I feel like it might be down here. But that's okay. We get that some other time. Yeah, a skin for 28 bucks is so stupid. It's such a ripoff for a skin. It probably took the uh, the game dev like three hours to put the skin together, and they're going to charge $28 for it. And probably 900,000 people will buy it. Maybe more. Maybe millions will buy it, and they'll make like an insane amount of money off of that. Okay, let's focus in on the main quest. Here we go. Nyrell continued her search for the Heradric Vault in the Darkened Holt, a place known to swallow locals in its swirling, cold air and dense foliage. I must find her before it's too late. So we're searching for Nyrell. At least my wrist stopped hurting. It was starting to hurt halfway through the session. Not used to all this crazy gameplay. Play CRPGs, man. They're slow. Right when I say that, I get I get a pulsing pain in my wrist. <laughs> Literally right when I said that. the best best classes i'm not really the person to ask um there's youtubers out there that are experts in this field that will be able to give you a much better answer um i mean i've done a little research and it seems like um, it seems like the rogue is one of the best classes for leveling up but end game it's possibly one of the worst unless you're a really really good player Um, Necromancer, I think, is, like, right in the middle of everybody in that regards. And I think, uh, I think damage-wise, I think the Sork is probably on top, from what I remember. Things change, though. And the Druid is supposed to be really good endgame. It's just really slow and kind of weak as you're leveling up. Alright, I think I'm going to invest into... Critically striking an enemy grants 5% movement speed... I'll do that. We're all about movement speed with this build right now. Movement speed, crits, and twin blades. That's what it's all about. Okay, so I do have my rogue subclass quest right now. After I complete this part of the main story, I definitely have to do this right away so I can get access to my combo points, inner sight, or preparation. So you guys need to remind me after this quest. Because I could that's a big jump in power that I'm sacrificing right now by not doing it.
You know what? Honestly, I'm going to stand up. I'm not standing on my desk. Never mind. I feel like it's going to pull a cord out. I can't ruin the first session of this game. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep wiggling my toes. You attack faster and summon holy arrows. Holy crap. We better hurry up. That's pretty sweet. I need more time. Damn it, I'm not gonna come across any enemies. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know how long that lasts. Didn't even get to fight one enemy with that buff. Not even one single enemy. Appreciate that. try to get that vulnerable condition more 20% damage increase when you have it active You guys remember this wolf from the beginning of the game? Aha. Do you hear? Who are you? Who are you? An admirer of sorts. I saved you in the mountains. You'd lost your horse and crawled into that cave. Would have frozen to death if not for me. Why are you helping me? Oh, it's very simple. You want to stop Lilith, and I want you to succeed. But you'll never do that by following the Horadrim. This guy is not all about Lorath, that's interesting. Their path always ends in fire and death. I love this guy. While searching for Nyrell in the dreaded darkened holds, I came across a giant wolf, as familiar as it is terrifying. It speaks to me, shows me visions. I am not sure I comprehend, but I'm compelled to follow them and listen. I wish this guy could be my pet. Why are you telling me all this? Why are you telling me all this? To warn you, a day will come when the Haradrim stumble. Don't be there when they do. The portal will lead you to that little girl you're looking for. 
Hmm, not sure what to think anymore. And what is this place? Tristram, the Horadrum of old imprisoned Diablo, the Lord of Terror beneath the earth. And then they built this town nearby. Tristram was the starting town in Diablo, wasn't it? Diablo 3? You can see how that turned out. I think it was. That's a nice little Easter egg. And why do you want to stop Lilith? I like the world the way it was without Lilith. Her little game of rebellion will only lead to chaos. You've already seen visions of the damage she can do. Diablo yes, 1 setting? I know you have fed her blood. Do you feel it changing you? Perhaps not yet. But as long as Lilith walks in your world, it is only a matter of time. <clears throat> Diablo 1 and 3. Back in the horizon's illusion. Nairel. There you are. I think I've lost my way. The same thing happened to my mother and me earlier on. The trail to the vault ends here, so it should be somewhere around in these woods. Nairel was found. None the worse for wear. I gather she is more resilient than people credit her for. It is time for us to leave this seemingly endless Heradric illusion. What that means for our search for the Heradric Vault, I am unsure. on the wrong monitor. Now I'm running in 1600 DPI. Okay, got it back. Got it back. Need more time. Okay, let me bring the chat back up. I lost the chat, too, on that. Every time I do that. Good question, Rumple. Not sure. Hey, Mike, what's up? Downloading mine now. Can't wait to get in. E3 is new, Tristan. Okay, all right. That makes sense. This difference now. There we go. The statue was the source of an illusion. We must be close. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I like my character's voice. Finally, the Horodric Vault. <laughs> She just go invisible? I think she did. Necromancer was dope. This is the place. Not what I expected. But let's not give up hope. Okay. All we need is one book, one spell to help us cross the Black Lake and stop Lilith. One book, one spell. Sealed shut. What of the passage over there? I got you, babe. 
Come with me. Freaking porcupines. You're gonna be shitting me. A variety of texts on local history, old kingdoms, and forgotten faiths. And porcupine almost killed me. I'm not ready yet. Lesser verses and incantations. Bound to Gale Valley, a worn and dusty book with a faded heraldic seal on the cover. This is. Uh, I think it's written in Horadric code, and here, the same symbol on the door. I have an idea. You might want to take a step back. Look how stupid my rogue looks right now. I don't even know what I Just look like. Be shot. Attack. Through That's the gates. Donin brought a book on his visit. The writing is ancient. A scroll from the Vizjuri. Lorath will not be pleased, but if I'm to fight by his side one day, I need to study everything. Lorath is wise, but he's cautious. I'll prove myself to him. Many of the notes here deal in mathematics and astronomy. Each page is lined with commentary on star charts and prophecies. Hey, wait for me. Well, this can't be good. Can you open this door? It's the same seal as before. Should be easy enough to break it again. But why would someone use it here? One way to find out. Of course. We can't let anything stop our pursuit of Lilith. I'll open the door. And if we split up, we'll work faster that way. Only if you stay on this side of the door. Fine. What am I looking for? Don't you know? A book, a scroll, or anything that will help us cross the Black Lake. Yeah, I agree, Guts, for sure. Chest beats shot. It is far too quiet in here. Something is awry. Did it again. Somebody's shooting at me in there still. Integration particle effect, that was sick. I 
need more time. Oh, you know what? The Dark Shroud doesn't even cost energy. It's just on a cooldown. I just noticed that. That's nice. What's up, Pseudo? Going pretty good, man. I didn't know if I was going to enjoy running through the story again, but I actually am. I think just knowing that this is like our actual final character, this is like our real character and it's not going to get erased, just makes it a lot more engaging. Oh shit, it's the freaking boss. Oh man, I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. Here we go. Shit, the stupid mouse, dude. I, I really have to disable that. Holy crap. It's gonna get me killed. Thank you. 
See ya. Why was a demon guarding that book? I should take this back to Nero. GG. I don't think it's on Steam yet. The Blizzard game, they have their own launcher. I think it'll come eventually to Steam. That's what people said earlier. They said it wasn't on wasn't on the Steam app yet. Which makes sense because they want as many people to use their uh their battle.net app as they can. I found this book. Interesting. This ledger was written by the Haradrim. This is chronicling spells and theories created by Rathma, the first necromancer. That's not what we're looking for. No. But it can still work. There must be a spell in this book we can use to bring my mother back. She knows the ritual to cross the Black Lake. Um, are you sure this is a good idea? It's all we have. My mother will help us through. Meet me down there. I'll never come to Steam. There's, I think there are some Blizzard games on Steam, though. But maybe, maybe you're right. Act Call of Duty's on, uh, on Steam nowadays. Warzone. But that's, uh, well, Battle.net is also Activision. If none of the other Diablo games are on Steam, then yeah, it probably won't ever come. The passage was infested with demons. I thought I heard something, but demons? How is that possible? It couldn't have been the Haradrim. They're secretive, but would never follow such a path. Rathma. That can't be a coincidence. You mean that we found Rathma's book here, and Lilith's going after him? My mother told me once, there are no coincidences where immortals are involved. Uh, no. Warzone is, uh, Activision. That's why it was such a big deal when uh, they're talking about um, Microsoft buying Activision, because then people are like, we're not going to have Call of Duty on PlayStation. Rogue Quest? All right, you got it. Yeah, great, great idea. Speak with Nyrell on the path of the Firstborn. Nyrell and I have gathered what is necessary to travel beyond the Black Lake in pursuit of Lilith. She awaits me in the path of the Firstborn. From there, we will carry about our plan. So... Um... Let me go back to the entrance before I do that. We're really close to it. I want to go out the front door. Make sure Nyrell is not like super close. Don't forget to equip your glorious little baby wolf on your character. Oh, how do you do that? Tardis. I don't even know how you do that. Would it be under shop? Why can't I see the cash shop? I can't believe Blizzard is hiding the cash shop from me. Does the cash shop not unlock until you get to like a certain level? Oh, let's see what level everybody is. There's Don, level five. Dragon Pink, level 22, grinding it out. Everybody's got different names on battle.net, discord, YouTube. I don't know who any of these people are. Oh, there's Ron, old friend that I used to play games with. Midori is level 17. Kiran, I forgot that she was playing. Level 19. Clap, clap. Zafiel, 23. Squidman is one of my friends, Justin. Volk is level 20. What a, what a group right there. I'm only 16. Like, what am I even doing? Okay, we're going to sidetrack from the main quest to do my rogue-specific quest, which is really, really important. And then we'll return to the main quest. So speak with Leirana to begin unlocking your potential. And Lirana is in Menestad. So that is super far away, so I am going to teleport back to Kiovashad. Go to the wardrobe in town? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I have I'm I have my I, I'm set at offline right now, Don. That's probably why. I have my battle.net set as offline. 
that's what you were talking about earlier. I thought for some reason you were talking about why you couldn't see me in the game itself. Can't upgrade the potion until level 20. I think I might have unlocked the... I don't know if it's the jeweler or the occultist. Uh, we're gonna have to check those guys real fast while we're here. I don't think I've died, right? Nope, okay. Not I since that first, first death. Skins and steel. Nobody cares what you got. Nobody uses those vendors. Unless you need gold. Alright, so let's stop at... Uh, I guess I'll pick up this side quest Not real intent. fast. Yeah, the reason why... The main reason why I have to go online is because of where's my TARDIS. Pretty much everybody else is pretty good. or That's why I have to go offline, because... You know, you know how TARDIS is. Annoying. Offer him coin. Keep it. I'm not after your money. Just your ear. I can feel it. A great calamity is about to unfold in the northern reaches. The door is in danger. I don't understand. It was sealed for a reason. And now the pig-headed beasts are trying to force it open. Heed my warning and stop them. It must remain sealed. Cuckoo. How do you know of the events around the sealed door? Perhaps a better question is... Why are you the only one to take it seriously? Take it seriously? I don't give a shit. I once... <sighs> that was long ago, I suppose. Okay, never coming down that alley again. Jeez. Psycho! I have to pay TARDIS money on the month. On the first of each month, I have to pay TARDIS just to stop annoying the shit out of me. I can't do that here. Alright, I'll go take a look at this stupid wardrobe. You know, I don't like the war- I just don't like- I just don't like transmog systems. I don't like cosmetics. I like the gear that I pick up, and I like that to be the gear that I'm wearing, so I don't support this. <laughs> the wardrobe feature and transmog system is, like, universally supported by, like, 99.9% .9 of all gamers except me. Alright. Where the hell is a stupid wolf? Okay, we don't- I don't need to switch any of my gear around. I just want the gear that I pick up to be the- be how I look. And then when we get endgame and find, like, some final gear, that's what I'm actually gonna care about, how things look. Um, gosh, darn, I've been hitting the gym. Holy crap, look at those pectorials. God bless. Headstones. Ooh, what is this? Apply headstone. I don't even know what that is. What does that even mean? All right. Why don't I have a wolf in here? What am I missing here? Reese Thomas, thank you for 22 months of channel membership. I appreciate it. Never played any of these games. Is it good to play or worth buying? It's hard to say if you haven't played ARPGs before. What is this? So preview ensemble. Do you want to purchase? I don't know what any of this is. I barely looked at this when I was in the beta. Um, I don't see a, a wolf here, so I am leaving. In the items tab, click on the far right of the four squares. Okay, last try. Here we go. Far right of the four squares. In the items tab. So items tab. Oh, okay, okay. I, th I thought... Okay, thank you, Tardis. You know what, Tardis? You're not so bad after all. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put that on. Because I am Wolfheart after all. And there's our little baby wolf. Look at that. Wait. Oh my god, I thought it was... I thought it was fur. I thought we killed the baby wolf. But then you can see the little baby wolf right there. Oh, that is just ridiculously cute. Aww. That's cute. He probably shouldn't come out with me out into the open world, though. That's dangerous. Okay, we'll run with the baby wolf for a little bit. Um, save. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now I have a wolf being smeared by my bow, my bow on my back. But, okay, fair enough. Sounds good. Is it common for devout folk to drink so... Is it common for people to talk as much as you? So shut the hell up. I guess I can't blame them. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, the occultist is level 25. The jeweler is level 20. So we got a little bit until we get to that. Let's go ahead and try to do this rogue quest. And then we'll continue on with the main story. Not in town. I don't know if I like this wolf being on my back with the bow clipping through it. That looks stupid. Not in town. Honestly, yeah, those of you guys that haven't played this game before, you guys should have participated in the free beta, and then you would have got a feel for it. I mean, I think it's a pretty good game so far. To me, I think it's going to be worth the money, but if you don't like ARPGs and dungeon crawlers, then you probably wouldn't like this game. This guy's a real pain in the ass, isn't he? Nice, we got other people here. This thing wants me dead, holy crap. Looks like we got a druid here. Need more time. that loot nice I like that bow better than the other one and I picked up a rare ring life regen damage sure awesome that's actually a pretty big buff and we have another I don't think I can do jewels yet. We gotta wait until I hit 25. So we'll save those. And I got another ability point. Oh my gosh, we have unlocked the imbuement skills. And we have shadow imbuement, poison, and cold. And I'm gonna go with poison. Imbue your weapon with lethal poison. Your next two imbuable skills deal poison damage and apply 100% of their base damage as an additional poisoning damage over five seconds. And that is in mouse number two spot okay i think i can get used to that oh would you look at that dude that's pretty sick i wonder how does the poison stay your next two imbuable skills deal poison damage so it looks like it stays nice that's pretty cool i am level 16 or 17 i think 17 you gotta download it hello t murray how are you happy thursday or Friday for you Australian folks. 90 plus gigabytes. Uh, it costs 60 bucks, Kit, but everybody that is playing right now paid at least 90. <laughs> because we're playing the early access to the full release. The early play, but you have to have the deluxe or ultimate edition in order to play early. Otherwise, you have to wait until June 6th. Yes. I 
need more time. Bit of lag. Can others drop in and drop out to help you? Yes. Yes, it does work like that. Uh, the world has level scaling, so... It's also a shared world, so you're going to come across other players while you're just running around. But if you had friends join you and you guys were different levels, it will all scale to your party, so... one skill to my skill bar and it's just throwing my mind for a loop right now. I don't know what buttons to press. I feel like I'm lost. I need more time. Okay, here we are. I've made it to the road quest. The village of Menestad. Waypoint unlocked. Picked up a rare staff. I don't think I can make use of that. Not in town. I saw eyes in the darkness of the forest before I reached town, glowing. Father bless. What do you need? I should have made a potion. The potion maker is only in. The overshot. I have many fine pieces, rare and beautiful. Combat sounds are relaxing. True. Yeah, they do a really good with like the dark fantasy ambience that strangely is really beautiful and relaxing. Okay, here we go. My husband was a hard man to love. Not Who the hell are you? No, don't answer. You step lightly, and you reek of dry blood. You're a killer. What do you want? As a blindfold. I heard you can teach me a few things. <laughs> Let's see if you're worthy of teaching first. I've got a job that needs doing. You help me, maybe I'll help you. I run with the sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. One of ours is missing. Akira. The Sisterhood of she the Sightless Eye. She took two and set out after an artifact, a coin. Help me find her. If you're not all talk, you might learn a thing or two. Sister of the Whispering Eye, huh. Sounds like my type of clan. Three hundred and thirty-five renown out of twenty-five hundred. I haven't done anything. <laughs> I decided to not buy the four day early release. Good for you. I think that's a good idea. I didn't have much of I mean, I always have a choice, but, you know, as a content creator, I have to I have to stream this as soon as I'm able to. I probably would have bought it anyways, though, because all my friends got it early, too. So that damn peer pressure would have got me. Yeah, the game does have axed on. Yep. Dead. Huh. One of our new sisters. Look close. Blood I think everywhere, it does. but only one stab wound. A quick kill. And they tossed her remains to the wargs. Messy, but it covered their tracks. Smart. I don't know if I like this baby wolf on my back. Just because it's clipping, it doesn't look clean.
This is quite pretty up here. keep reapplying that poison quite often. Does that actually use energy? <laughs> Decapitated. I probably ran past so many altars of Lilith and just didn't notice. All right, so poison, no, none of those use up energy actually. So I should be hitting them pretty much any time that I have access to them. Just gotta get into that habit. It's a necromancer. Look, you can see all of his minions. Fight. He saw it coming, so the killer went for his joints first. Finished him off when he was down. Whoever it was, they were trained as a rogue. got ground pounded into the ground. Whoa! That was my first little bout of lag right there that I've experienced at that degree. Okay, so the poison doesn't go away on a regular basic attack. It's only when you use skills. So what's cons I mean, everything's a skill except your basic attacks, right? And twisting blades too, actually. I don't think that counts either. Oh wait, it just went away. Hold on. I don't. It, oh no, I think it does go away. Does that is that considered a skill? Oh, you know what I would love right now is Burger King. <laughs> Shit, man, even if I got off right now, I wouldn't be able to make it to fast food in time, so that's probably a good thing. Because we don't need crap like that in our body, right? Or do we? I'm not ready yet. Everything that turns green. If you guys see a lo altar of Lilith, let me know, because I'm certainly not keeping I'm I'm not looking that way. Check, check, check. Hello, hello. Not sure what I just said, but couldn't hear myself, so. Hold up. Give me my combo points. It's not just the killer we're after. The coin's dangerous, too. It bears a hole in the middle. When you look through, it shows you others' weaknesses. But it also drives you bleeding mad. Don't know who we'll find in there for sure. If they've got the coin, they'll hit you where it hurts. You better be ready. Making fools rage. Man, this is crazy. I used to watch you cover songs years and years ago. Hope, hey, you know what? I appreciate you uh, stopping in. That's awesome. For those of you guys that don't know, I used to be a musician back in the day. My first 10,000 subscribers was actually from the music genre. And then I made a decision to switch into gaming eventually one day. I didn't even start a new channel. I thought about that long and hard, too. So thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
DoorDash. Nothing's open anymore. It's, it's ever, ever since COVID hit. Oh shit, I'm not allowed to say that. Demonetized. <laughs> Everything's like closed at midnight now. Like, what is this? You know what I mean? I used to be able to go to Walmart at any time. It was 24-7. And it never went back to 24-7. I am enjoying Diablo so far. It's been a really good experience. Just subbed and I'm playing right now and I'm a necromancer. Well, thanks a lot for the subscription and enjoy your necromancer playthrough. I was, uh, I was convinced I was going necromancer for the longest time and then I changed to druid and then at the end I switched to rogue. <laughs> I'm not sure if I think about it even more tonight, I'll probably wish I played something else, but I'm really enjoying Rogue. It's definitely really powerful. I don't know if the burning video cards thing is still happening or what. I'm assuming they probably figured that out. Could be wrong, though. It needs time to recharge. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, that's true, Richard. I didn't think about that. You're right, it is. A lot of places are very low on employment, including hospitals and medical places, so that would make sense. Gotta get the muscle memory of hitting the poison in the dark shroud. I don't quite have it yet. Needs time to recharge. Rogue is still looking pretty silly right now. But that's A-OK, -okay, because you guys aren't going to make fun of me, right? Singularity? Oh, the good old days. Man. You know, my band actually might be coming out with a song um, in the near future. I don't know if you followed my band and vice versa back in the day. Or if you were just following my vocal covers, but... My bandmates reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to do stuff and I said no because I don't have time for that anymore. But I do have old vocal files on my old computer and I pulled a bunch of those files off and uh, I sent them to them. So we might have some songs coming out. It needs time to recharge. Shreds, man. Really does. I'm not ready. Pretty long quest. I like that they have these class specific quests, though. It adds a little bit of variety. My friend gifted me the game. Nice. That's awesome. Sub Zero look. Yeah, it does kind of look like Sub Zero. Oh my gosh, that's my first legendary. The Blast Trapper's Twin Blade. 5.5 damage to stun, 12 overpower, 5 damage to slow. Lucky hit up to 2.6. Dealing direct damage to enemies affected by your trap skills. I'm not using trap skills. That's okay. Still a good dagger. After I complete this build, uh, when I start getting sick of it, I am going to try a full trap rogue at some point. I need more 
time. Oh shit. Reward, quick killer, player ti titles. Okay. Oh, I got gem slot armor too. Nice. I just can't use gems until we hit level, I think it was 25. All right. So let's go ahead and invest. I guess I will power up my poison a little bit. We're going to stick with poison. Then I'm going to try out shadow later. Poison duration is increased by one second. Sign me up. It's a done deal. Friends band is going to England next month for some metal festivals. That's awesome. What's the name of the band? I'll look them up sometime. class I never tried, even in the beta was the Barbarian. Kind of curious how it plays. See ya. You. You're welcome, brother. Just toss me a couple gold coins and we'll call it a day. I'm not ready yet. Damn, that animation looks so good. Wouldn't have made it without you. I won. Got the coin. But it messed up my head. I saw worms digging in people's hearts. Worms digging in people's eyes. Are we playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now? What the hell? They're scars. They're called tadpoles, so my friend. So easy to slice where the coin shows me. Have they turn you into it. mind flares. Just stop crying. Sorry. The coin. No. No! It's mine! You won't take it from Jeez. My head. Uh oh! Oh shit! I saw worms digging in people's hearts. Their secrets. Their scars. So easy to slice where the coin showed me. Have to stop it. I'm sorry. Play runner. I tried to kill myself. Stop this fight from ever happening. Okay. For all the good it did, you were a fighter to the last. You taught me well. <sighs> what a waste. No problem, Don. Thanks for watching. What happens now? You and me, we're done here. You saw Masters in action. Bested one, even. I can't teach you better than that. As for Bakira, <sighs> she needs a burial. I'll see it done. And the Sisterhood should know of the coin. 
Let them figure out what to do with it. Okay. You did good. Be smarter than she was. All right. Do I get my combo points? So we can get back to the main story. time I think I do hold on yes I do have my combo points let just clear out the rest of this dungeon and then we'll take a look at them actually I'll do it right now here we go rogue specializations your basic skills now generate combo points core skills consume combo points for additional effects oh inner sight to level 20 and preparation unlocks at level 30 so I guess we got to do combo points right now which is fine, because that's what I was going to do anyway. I'm not ready yet. That was close. I don't know if you guys saw my HP, but that was... I, I thought I was doomed. I thought it was over. I'm not ready yet. I don't even know what dungeon this is, but we've made it this far, so I might as well just keep doing it, even though we already completed the quest. Hello guys, I have a problem with Twisting Blade skill. Twisting Blade does not rotate around the character. I think that is actually a an aspect or a codex of power, my friend. So I don't think you'll see it rotating until you pick up that particular aspect. I don't believe it's part of the core skill. So for right now, you just got to uh, use Twisting Blade or use Twisting Blade a couple times and then dash or shadow step away and then have all the blades cut through your enemies until you actually get that uh, skill improvement. Movement speed, hell yeah.
I had coffee at the start of the stream. I don't think I want to have any at this point because I'm not going to be calling it all nighter. Probably wake up in the morning and probably stream around like 9 or 10 in the morning. For those of you guys that want to continue watching, if you want to continue watching but can't make the stream, just check the live streams tab of my, my channel whenever you have time. And I will probably have thumbnails that represent each session of this particular campaign run. This dungeon just won't end. I'm trying to get back to the main campaign. My bags are full. Full on everything right now? This has got to be the end, right? This is crazy. Oh, shit. Forgot about this guy. Nice, fan. You have unlocked aspect of encircling blades. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Is 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 Iriano still here? I think I just unlocked the exact aspect that they were asking about. I did it without even knowing. I almost actually quit this dungeon early because I was like, I don't want to go through the whole thing. I'm trying to focus on the campaign for the stream. Well, there you go. That's the dungeon that you need to uh, do. This is going to be pretty... You guys are about to see some crazy rogue skills here in a second if I can go put that aspect on. Unfortunately, I don't think I can until level 20 when we unlock the occultist. But let's take a look at... Wait, why is it not... Sh oh, it's a codex of power. So... How do you see the codex of powers? I forgot. I don't know where the codex of power menu is. Oh, here they are. Flurry. Oh, shit. Never mind. Ne never mind. I take it back. Aspect of Encircling Blades. Flurry damages enemies in a circle around you and deals 8% increased damage. It's not the Twin Blades one. Man, I could have sworn it was going to be with a name like that. Are you kidding me? All right. Extraction and Imprinting. Speak with Demian. Occultists are masters of the mystical arts and can aid in extraction and imprinting. I thought I couldn't do that until... Level 20, but okay. Yes. Let's uh, let's get out of here, go back to Kyovashad, and then push on with the main story, because I'm still feeling pretty good. It's 12.07 right now. Got a little bit more in me. You unlock the occultist when you get your first aspect too. Okay, thanks. Jump says, I subscribed just to tell you to stop using profanity, son. Don't cuss during the live stream. Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Won't ever fucking happen again, all right? I promise. Can't do that here. I can't do that here. Tell me of extraction and imprinting. As I'm sure you know, even seemingly mundane objects sometimes contain great power. I can help you wrest that power free. The process will break down the original object, leaving behind the pure aspect of its mystical power. You might think of it as ripping the soul from one body and transferring it to another. 
<laughs> not that I would ever dream of such a thing. <laughs> Certainly not within earshot of the cathedral. Nice. No witchcraft here. Only okay. So the occultist is actually pretty sweet. Um, sigils is endgame. So that doesn't matter right now. Um, we can enchant an item, but like I said earlier, I don't think I care that much about going crazy with my current gear at this level. Because it's all just going to be replaced anyways. Um, so I think I don't want to use... Oh, actually, never mind. Codex of Powers don't go away, but Aspects do. So if you use an Aspect, I think once you take it off that item, I think it's destroyed. So Aspects that you find are only one-time use, I'm fairly certain of. And then the Codex of Powers are always available for use, as long as you have the crafting materials required to imprint it on your weapon. So for example, if I wanted to take this dagger... We could throw that Aspect of Encircling Blades on. It costs 6 Veiled Crystal and also 7,300 gold. But since I am not using the skill Flurry, that does me no good right now. So that would be a waste. But I would still always have Aspect to that Codex of Power Aspect. Um, and this is the RNG system where you can change the affixes on your gear. So if I place the dagger right here... These are all the current affixes on my dagger, and I can click one to RNG roll and try to get a different result. Um, you can still stick with your current one, but you don't get your material cost back. So maybe I'll try this. Oh, actually, I can't. I don't have a blood rose or a fiend rose. For example, if I was playing a rogue and I wasn't really into... Um, I didn't really have a build that stuns enemies, I'd probably want to get rid of this one right here. So then I'd pay the crystal and the fiend rose and the 17k in gold. And then it would present me with like three or four more options to change it to something else. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with the occultist. Okay, I think we're good to uh, go sell a few things and then do a little bit more of the main story. I think I'm going to get rid of the wolf too. I don't like the baby wolf, man. With the, I mean, I love the baby wolf, but it clipping with the bow just isn't... It's not fancy. Or maybe I'll just keep the baby wool. No, we're not keeping the baby wool. Okay, and I'm good with all the other armor because I do like to see... This is actually pretty sick. Look how good that looks. I could change the hood a little bit. This would be a really neat armor set. I would love to have that, like, IRL. Shit, I'll go to the Renaissance Festival with that on. Goodbye, baby wolf. I apologize, but I am not your father. When I push the twisting blade and then dash, the blades are not coming back to do damage. Every time when I push the skill, it only pushes his forward. Are you sure? Look at that real closely. I mean, I can't speak for your game. Maybe you are experiencing a technical issue. It just doesn't seem likely that that would be a technical issue right now. I can't do that here. Without others experiencing it too. Take what's left. Father bless. What do you need? Let me go make a quick potion so we can get that 5% XP boost. I've done a couple of the world events, Sesame. Where there's other players around. That's what you're asking. I'll show you the skill. Hold on one second. 
Well, I gotta get out and back into my quest. Kettle's hot. What do you need? All right. See if I can make one. Yes, I can. Weak barb. Wait, what is this? Cold resistance. We'll make one of those. Actually, I'll make two. If I can remember to take it. Okay, and off we go. Back to the main quest. Nyrell and I have gathered what is necessary to travel beyond the Black Lake in pursuit of Lilith. She awaits me in the path of the Firstborn. From there, we will carry out our plan. Okay. Graphics are just gorgeous. I am enjoying it, Sesame. Are you playing it yourself, or...? I don't have any critiques at the moment. I'm not really an ARPG expert, so it's hard for me to provide any, like, legit feedback at this time. It's, everything feels pretty good so far. Okay, let's show uh, Iranu Twisting Blades on our way up north. Hope the fish are biting today. All right, so... Twisting Blades is left click, so I'm going to left click right now. And I'm just going to roll through these enemies. I'm not even going to do a dash. Dashing makes it better, but here we go. All right, left click. I'm going to do it twice. Roll. And there they are. You can see them, how they returned? Let's do it again. Need more time. You can see it return back to me. You can do it with the roll, or you can do it with uh, a dash. Makes it a lot easier to see because you're able to create more distance. But if you're doing it up in the enemy's faces, like you're not going to see it return to you because it's... You're, you're standing in the area that it's returning to. So the idea with this build is to use it and then dash away and then the daggers come flying back. I'll do it again when we get another mob up here. We'll do a gigantic one. And you can do it multiple times. So let me gather all these enemies together and I'm going to go... I'm going to do it once. Once and dash. And there you go. It returned to me. And if it's not doing that for you... Then I don't know what to tell you. That's going to be a Blizzard Entertainment email. <laughs> Trying to talk myself out of not getting this and spending the next two months holed up. True. Maybe you shouldn't get it. Sounds like you got better things to do. Shit, I went the wrong way, man. What the hell, bruh? I'm not ready yet. How y'all doing? Not in town, strangers in the camp. How'd you just call me, Bucko? What's up, Miguel? That work? What time you playing tomorrow? Yeah, work. Oh yeah, I forgot you're on night shift now. I'll probably be playing right when I wake up in the morning. Oh, if you ever feel like uh, joining to it, just shoot me a message. I'm just pushing on. The, the point of this playthrough is going to be for me to focus on the campaign. Um, and then once I finish the campaign, I'm just going to go balls to the walls and just start grinding whatever and and just going crazy. So I'm just focusing on the quests, on the main quests until I beat the main campaign. And then after that, it's, uh, it's game time to start grinding for end game stuff. What, uh, what, what, what build are you going with, Tubit? Are you using Twisting Blades? It's freaking so good, man. Stupid mouse. Ranged rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Ranged rogue? Uh. 
Okay, let's let's be serious. So what build are you going with, Tubit? Does anyone know how Sork feels? Probably pretty badass. Got Skypad 3.0 Sora drop. I don't even know what you're talking about, Shinobi, but it sounds pretty awesome, man. You know, I heard that I heard actually the ranged build for the rogue might be better endgame, because the rogue has really bad survivability. So sometimes you gotta stand back when you're fighting bosses and stuff like that. I think it's sweet that you're doing that though. Uh, I gotta try range sometime. I wanna try a trap build after this though. What's the plan? I'll explain on the way. Yeah. Well, are you gonna explain or what the hell's going on? We gotta go all the way back here? Actually, that's pretty sweet, too, but if you're running ranged, because if we play together, then we'll have a little bit of variety. You guys ready for a crazy? Oh shit, these are these. Hold on. Twisting Blades like might be one of my favorite abilities I've ever experienced in an ARPG in my entire life. Not even lying. Rothma's description of the ritual was Sork is strong. To understand. And the notes weren't much better. I think I know how to talk with my mother again. None of the builds even matter until we get to endgame anyway. It's not like the game's like insanely challenging right now. So I'd say you guys do whatever the hell you want. Have fun with your characters. And then when you get to endgame and you start running into difficulty problems with the nightmare dungeons, that's when you gotta really figure out builds that are ideal. Like the whole speed leveling thing, I never really was like, I don't really get that. Unless you're like a professional player and you're, I don't know, you're trying to, I don't know. I just, I'm trying to, at least for me, like I'm trying to enjoy my first playthrough. I don't need a speed level. I don't need to save, like shave like an hour off of my total game time by playing a certain build. Although I think I am playing the most powerful build, so. All right, one point, what am I going to put it into? We have a couple until we reach the ultimates. I think I'm going to start going into some more passives. Gain 5% damage reduction against damage over time. Maybe I should do that, because I need a little bit more tankiness. 4% close damage reduction. I'll go with that. I think there was a heal ability. Heal for 1% of your maximum life when you critically strike close enemies. So yeah, I definitely want to get to that. That would be pretty nice as a rogue. How sweet this taste. Lilith asked me to aid in a ritual. Sacrifice a priest from the escort. I already read that when we were here earlier. The breeze coming from the Black Lake. Do you feel it? Let's hurry. I promise I can learn how to... Nere, stop. I can't be saved from my own mistakes. This body is only a husk. 
my spirit must pass on. And you must let me go. Mother, no. I need you. You need to move on, Magpie, without me. But I can help you one last time before I go. You have the divine blessing. Yes, ma'am. Just doing my job. Your blood is the necessary key. Me? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Didn't have to make it that big. What the hell? This is not going to be a 24 hour stream. Nairel. The way is open. We have to go. But. Do you think Lilith is even still here? It's been so long. I'm afraid she's won this one. Besides, I have to. Take care. Okay, you make it this far and then make me go by myself? But That's it's great. It's not over yet. Not for you. Lilith was after Rothma. Find him. Learn why. I'll be back at the vault. All right. I pursue Lilith through the necropolis of the firstborn. Something unexpected has happened, for her hatred has manifested as living and oozing corruption, covering the necropolis. Ghost of Rathma. My father, Inarius, who arrived here first. Look at this place. Oh, you know what I never did? I never went to my chest to put my crude diamonds back in. It started in dreams. I saw shattered images of the end of sanctuary. The scales of a great serpent carried these visions. And so I went to visit him. I and the serpent's thoughts met, and the fragmented future was mended together. I put it down in order, and the prophecy was born. Hmm. Okay. Not really sure how the season pass works. I haven't even looked into that at all. I need to destroy the Every time I try to access the cash shop, though, it doesn't show, so I don't know. Maybe maybe they're waiting until the 6th to do the season pass? I have no idea. I'm just guessing. When everybody gets access to the game. Destroy the tumors of hatred. That sounds disgusting. Tumors of hatred. Hit. 
pretty disgusting quest. Okay. You know, I didn't watch all the Diablo lore videos. They were so good, too. The first one was really good. I gotta watch those tomorrow morning with a cup of coffee before I log in. Did you guys watch all those? I know, the daggers. I'm, I'm afraid it's going to get nerfed and then I'm not going to know what to do with my, my baby rogue. That's when I'll switch over to Necromancer. <laughs> We'll check out this way real fast. I might I might actually complete the story content for what we had in the beta tonight. Then maybe I can run over to the areas that we haven't seen and then call it a night, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. I'm starting to get a little restless. And hungry. Angry. Where the piss is that tumor? Oh, I missed that one. Hold on. Yes. Time to recharge. 
So my basic skill, yeah, so when I throw th three blades and hit two blades on one enemy, it makes them vulnerable. So I got to pay attention to that. Whenever I'm facing like a bigger enemy, I want to make sure that I get up in their face at least once to get that vulnerable status effect, which will make them take 20% more damage. That's a pretty big um, damage boost to pay attention to. So I got to make sure that I'm doing that. I haven't tried the shadow damage yet. No, I'm just I'm, I'm just sticking to this one build tonight. Um, we'll experiment with other things later. I'm trying to make sure that I become an expert in what I have currently. During the beta, we played around with a bunch of different skills. We'll have a testing night uh, in a little bit. It seems to be working really good. start doing too many things at one time that I forget everything so oh you refuse to give me the key you stand in the way of the savior the holy blood in your veins should be boiling nothing you do will change the future I saw I I create my own destiny, and this prophecy of yours is just a small part of it. Dad's not too happy, is he? It is wider, beyond comprehension of ungrateful spawns like yourself. is such a beast. I don't think I'd mess with that guy IRL. Hey Rob, what's up? Loving this game. I haven't been this satisfied with a game on launch in a while. I am having a good time. Have a good night, Rob. Test the shadow damage. I'll test it. Uh, I'll test it a another night when I'm when I'm in the testing mood. I use shadow in the in the beta quite a lot. I think I just like poison more. Imbue your weapons with festering shadows. Your next two imbuable skills deal shadow damage and affect enemies for six seconds. Affect enemies explode on death, dealing 100 damage to all surrounding enemies. You know what? I'll do it right now. It's not going to mess up my build because that doesn't bring anything back. Um, and then when I get a point back, I'll just go back to poison so I can complete the poison build and then continue to uh, work on that. The infection expires before the enemy dies. It'll deal 100 damage. All right, let's go ahead and do it. It's not expensive either. You have 15% increased critical strike chance against injured enemies infected by shadow imbuements. Okay. Your weapons are festering shadows. Next two skills deal shadow damage and affect enemies. Affect enemies explode on death. Okay. Yeah, I think this is why I wanted to go down poison was because of 75% increased poison damage. Okay, here we go. Well, the shadow looks cooler, I can tell you that, when we have this, uh, this dark shroud encircling my character.
nice sound effects. Yeah, launch was really smooth for me on PC, but a lot of PlayStation players were saying that they were having problems. God bless. Poison would have went way better against the boss. It was a bad time to switch. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. And I got another legendary necklace. 14 thorns, one rank of all subterfuge. Um, and my subterfuge skill is shit. Is it dark shroud? Yeah, dark shroud. 6% damage reduction. Hell traps also throw a cluster of exploding stun grenades. So that's a great amulet for a trap build. Oh, wait, maybe I can place gems in my gear right now. Silly me, I think I can. I can. You don't have to place gems at the occult, at the uh, jeweler. That was funny. All right, so let's go ahead and add, uh, yep, critical strike. Beautiful. Critical strike. Damage over time. Overpower damage. Max health. Look at that. Just used up all my gems. It's funny. Didn't realize I could do that. The hell of a fight right there with the help of knight pennant in the heavy father's grace armor i have destroyed the great beast at the corruption's epicenter blood flows from the knight's armor as they slow to a stop i must help them ggs hey roman what's up Oh, 
a lot Fickle. of blood. Who did this? I have done all that was asked. The pain is gone now. Uh, this was a just punishment. Mm -hmm. A stronger man would have refused Venard's bribe. Nerel. Nerel, is she safe? Yes, she is safe. It's crazy, Vigo. You're Our a madman. No coincidence. I came here to help. Will you give this to her for me? I should never have taken it. He's so dark. I have repented. Do you think I was too late? No, not too late. The light has come to carry you home. Do not see it, friend. Yes, yes, I see it now. They have come. Come on, Vigo. Vigo Mortison. All right, so this amulet drops the bubble over you like he was using in this suit of armor here. Gives you a period of invulnerability. One hit while not healthy. A magical bubble is summoned around you for 5.3 seconds. While standing in the bubble, players are immune. Can only occur once every 90 seconds. So I'll go ahead and use that. I shouldn't have put the gems gem on that amulet right there. But the bubble's pretty sweet. I don't know if they nerfed it. But it used to be 90 seconds. I remember it being really good in the beta, though. Okay, I've destroyed the great beast only because Vigo returned from Kor Valar and Father's Grace armor to help me and gave his life to do so. It seems the beast was guarding a massive temple Lilith must be inside. Give me the key to hell. I will not ask again. You don't need to. I saw a vision of the key lifted from my corpse, under the watchful eyes of the great serpent in my sanctum. If you are chosen as you say, it will come to pass. Touche. Hey, Panic, what's up? Yeah, we we're looking at your character from my uh, my friends list earlier, looking at what level everybody was. Trying to see how you guys were doing. It's too quiet. But uh, what class did you end Where up going with? I don't know if it tells you that in the friends list or not. Is epic, true. Is that him? Is that Rathma? This Rathma's body? I actually don't remember. Uh oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mother and son. I don't know if you would have chosen to stand beside me in this new world, Rathma. But I would have saved your place just the same. And now, all that you might have been has been stolen from me. Stolen. Oh shit.
This key unlocks more than the doors of hell. It unlocks our path to the future. A future made possible because of the price you paid. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. Yeah, that thing about romancing Lilith, I'll probably stay away now. I've discovered what Lilith was after in the necropolis of the Firstborn. I must reconvene with Nerel at the Heradric Vault. Dude, that's crazy. That's Lilith and Anarius' son right there. Wow, look at this game. It looks incredible. Oh, you're playing Rogue too. Nice. Twin Blades is, is a nasty build. I'm gonna set up the clan uh, either after I end the stream tonight or tomorrow morning, or I'll talk to somebody who's gonna do it. Did you not see those hips? Druid? What about Druid? Whoa! I think I just almost lagged out right there. You know what? I think I'm gonna save. Should I save? You know what's interesting is when I get the occultist, we can actually take this aspect off of this legendary amulet, I think, and then place it on something else. So maybe I should save this just because I'm gonna do a trap build at some point. So I'm gonna put that in my chest. I don't even... Hold on, what's better? Actually, I like the bow better. I can't do that here. Father bless. What do you need? Oh, wow, look at that. 62k. There's so many people that'll probably buy stuff from these vendors, too. You just It's just like you're going to find something better like in, in like an hour or two of gameplay. That is really expensive. Not in town. All right, Kit, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, as always. All right, so we're going to put that in here because I think I can actually... Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try right now. It's been a while. Let's go to the occultist. And let's see if we can remove it right now. I haven't messed with the system since uh, the first beta. All right, so we have extract aspect. So we're going to take the trickster necklace and put it right there. And I should be able to take off the Caltrops aspect for 9k. And there we go. It destroys the item. And I lost gold, but now we have the Caltrops aspect, which is perfect. And I'll put that in my chest because that is something that I will probably save for the entirety of the game. Unless. Unless it's not as powerful as if I found this aspect later on in the game. I don't know how that works. Like, the deal 70 total physical damage obviously wouldn't be that great endgame. I wonder if this... I don't know, because it's a level 15 item. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm going to go ahead and store it anyways. Maybe it's going to be completely useless by the time that I've, I'm running a trap build, because I'm going to be way too high of a level. All right, we'll put that in there. Um... I'll just save the gem on me because I'm going to find gear that I can put it on anyways. Okay, let's um, let's go speak with Nerel. 
and she is back near Yelezna. Aspects do have ranges. Okay, so if that's true, which I'm believing you, then that wouldn't be that good by the time I actually was ready to use it. Not in town. right there you guys see that that's from the amulet that i just picked up pretty sweet wanted me to give this to you. Vigo. wanted you to have this. Oh. He was a good man. And Lilith? Was she even there? Did you meet her? Already gone. By the time I arrived. There is more. I can see that. Lilith took a key to hell off Rathma's body. <laughs> then it was... All in vain. She's the only one who got what they wanted. Nairal. She came seeking the Haradrim of legend. Seeking hope. She found neither. But her part in things was far from over. In truth, we would need her more than she needed us. Didn't seem that way at the time, though. For anyone. Inarius proved to be just as unreliable as I'd feared. His self-obsession had driven him to murder his son, Rathma. That's crazy. And from the corpse left behind, Lilith had taken a key to hell. Where would she use it? We could only depend on ourselves to find out. Damn, man. I kind of want to take Lilith's side now, right? So I think that is... Isn't that Act 1? Yeah, there are acts because you can see... I, I was, it, t it labels the quest. So that was the Act 1 main quest. Um, so I guess the best way to do this stream series would be to do tomorrow Act 2 and then Saturday Act 3. And then after that, you can just start running dungeons and trying to, you know, grind better gear and nightmare dungeons and all that stuff. But we are certainly going to at least venture out this way a little bit for the end of the stream for all of you that have been hanging out for the stream i appreciate you guys being here so we're gonna maybe explore just a little bit to end here and try to see what another area looks like uh, clearly i missed a lot in the starter area but that's fine because i want to focus on the main quest uh for now so yeah that's pretty sweet act one quest is done um, I'm going to teleport. Let's teleport to Menestad. Let's see if we can at least get a preview of what the other environments look like. What extra power has the min roll for each aspect, and the way you get better ones is from items. I'm not sure if the roll on the aspect is tied to the item level, though. Okay. Reese, holy gifted memberships. Welcome to the five new members of the channel. Thanks so much, Reese. Appreciate that, man. Thanks. The night has teeth beyond these wards. Better with bed down here. So that... You return. 
Okay, let's go, uh, let's take a look. And I won't start Act 2 until tomorrow morning. That way I can label the stream as an Act 1 stream. Oh, shit, I killed the deer. Damn it. I was trying not to do that. Hey, let's test out the shadow magic. Hold on. They, they are exploding. I wonder how good that is. You can see the AoE explosion. Shadow Mewman's primary explosion makes en enemies vulnerable. We'll take that. We'll keep Shadow on for now. Uh, that's really good. You get an AoE explosion that makes all the enemies in the area vulnerable. You have a 20% damage increase to them. That is, uh, that's pretty nasty. Artis, you're still around here? I thought you unsubscribed. What was that all about? Oh shit, hold on, I can I can upgrade my healing potion. You know what? I'll do that next stream. We're on an adventure right now. If I can discover a new waypoint up here, that would be great. Or a portal. Dude, it just cut that guy in half. Okay, so I'm not going to click on this next quest. This is the start of Act 2, but... Hopefully this is a new area. I don't know when the new area starts. It looks like the terrain is actually changing. Yes, it is. Oh, this is so cool. I think we have entered into the Act 2 area of the game. Find Donan and Eldhaim Keep. Okay, so we're not going to go in the keep. Let's go down this way a little bit. Yeah, the two wolf companions is pretty sweet for the druid. That was making me really tempted to play that class. Act 1 world boss in four minutes. Not showing up on my. You mean it shows up in four minutes, or is it actually going to attack in four months? For him, I don't see any indication on my screen. What a dark, dark, gritty game! Holy crap! Oh my god! What the hell is that? <laughs> I kind of wish that the world didn't scale to your level. I know a lot of people like level scaling, but like, I don't know, man. I like going into a new area and getting absolutely dominated and not having the world just constantly form and, and adjust to my character's level. At the same time, I understand why it's a mechanic in games because you can go anywhere you want and the game is always, you know, engaging, I guess you could say, but I'm actually not a fan of level scaling. on an overall level. There's like no enemies in this area. What the hell's going on? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a player right there. Riding a mount. Wait, is that a player? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's not a player. It doesn't have the name above their head. This, is there like no enemies in this area? Like what the hell is going on? This is crazy. Maybe I have to like, whoa. Are we get into a forested area? Oh shit. What in the nine hells is that? Yes, yes, yes. 
That was a giant boar. There's still like not that many. Wait, what's going on? Why is it so empty? Oh my god. I need more time. It's like no matter where you go, every enemy is scaled to your level. So like no enemy is like truly scary. But if the world if the world wasn't level scaled, or at least if it was limited, maybe that would be the way to do it. Have some areas be level scaling and other areas not. Like that boar would have scared the crap out of me back in the day. If I was playing like World of Warcraft back in the day and you, you come into a new area and you think you're under leveled and you see a creature like that, like you're running. In a game like this, you don't care at all because you know it's scaled to your level. Time. Okay. I don't know where the town is here. Um, oh, is that the town? Yes, it is. So let's go to the town. It'd be a great waypoint to discover. Yeah, maybe maybe I like I think maybe uh, a mix between level scaling and also just areas that are mapped to certain levels that don't change might be might be a solution to satisfy everyone because i think some some areas is probably fine Not in town and there are actually a few things in this game that are not based on level scaling but like 90 percent of the game is look at this town this is called saragar this is a dark 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 world my friends can't do that here. Wait, what is that over the edge over there? Holy cow, we're up on like a mountain pass. That's crazy. Not in town. Oh yeah, you know what? I, I didn't even... I Once I picked up the combo points, I wasn't even thinking about them. You guys can see here at the bottom of the screen, I have two out of three combo points here. Your basic skills now generate combo points. Core skills consume combo points for additional effects. And you can see right here, for Twisting Blades, combo points increases damage and grants movement speed bonus. One combo point... Excuse me. Oh my gosh, it's getting late. One combo point, 139 damage, 20% bonus. Two points, 172 damage, 40% bonus. And three combo points, 204, 60% bonus. Damn. 60% movement speed bonus for building up three combo points. That's about to be crazy. I'll have to focus a little bit more on that I can't do next that session. Here. Okay, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We shall continue with the campaign stream probably tomorrow morning. I'm a guessing that I'll probably be on around like 9 or 10 a.m., maybe 11 a.m. And uh, I'll try to do a session where I go through the entirety of Act 2. I have no idea how long it is. I'm assuming it's probably a similar length, so a four to six hour stream. And then hopefully I can take a break and then get back on Friday night for another stream and maybe finish off Act 3. I don't know if I have that in me, but I'm certainly going to try. And then uh, after I beat the campaign, it's time to start grinding out some of these nightmare dungeons and those of you guys that would like to come on stream or whatever you guys are more than welcome we'll figure all that good stuff out disagree with level scaling too kind of takes away from the feeling of earning their yeah i feel that way too not everybody does but aren't there dungeons that are set for certain levels yeah, i think there's something in this game that's not level scale but I, i'm not an expert so i'm not entirely sure i remember people talking about something like that though All right, guys, you guys have a wonderful night, and I will catch you tomorrow. See if there's anybody that we can raid right now. Oh, Zayfiel's on. I'll send you guys over to Zayfiel's stream. Hold on one second. You guys ready for this? Zayfiel would be freaking out if you guys went over to his stream. All right, I just shared Zyphiel's, uh, he's streaming uh, Diablo right now. 
you guys stop over, I'm sure you'll make his night. Alright. I don't know why my screen is showing my main screen, but whatever. That's really trippy to look at that. You guys can see how the OBS program works. Look, we can go to the tavern. Yay! Alright guys, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, and I will catch you guys on a future stream. Once again, I'm sharing Zyphiel's channel in the chat. Zyphiel is a longtime channel member of my channel. So go show your support, stop in, say hi. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Catch you guys later. Peace. Thanks for the gifted memberships, Reese. Jessica, thank you for the Australian four. Midori, thanks for the five. Nixian, thank you for the 40. Bacchus Beast, starting the stream off with a Canadian 69.99. Then Tarts, thanks for the two. And four. And Midori, thanks for the five. five. I'll stop over at Zyphiel's stream real fast. Then I gotta go get some food. And Arclash. I don't have all my stuff for it, but... 